All right, microphone check. One, two, skip everything else. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is here. Episode 47. God damn. God damn is the right word to say. Sheesh. Hey, um, shout out to Gro. Shout out to Mahi's Brandy. We'll be drinking. Uh, Yo. Oh, damn. Hold up. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, Gemini Scorpio podcast. Mr. J Hill, I'm here. Killer Bay is here. Yeah. Alema. <laughs> Miss Greenaway is here. Yeah. Alexander LeBlanc is here. <laughs> now we shouting out niggas before we shout out our damn selves. But uh, now let's do it. Shout out to Mahi's Brandy. That's what we drinking. Uh, um, new partnership, new sponsor. Um, M A H E E S Brandy on Instagram. Uh, Mahi's just like this spell is pronounced how it's spelled. So shout out to them. Uh, DMV based. Make sure y'all check it out. Black it's definitely owned. good. It's black owned. Uh huh. Let black us see owned. it. And it tastes good. That's all. It. That's what we all drinking. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Salute. It's in my coffee, guys. She meant it. Well, that's gonna have diarrhea. But yeah, man. Hey, I can lose a couple pounds. Oh, I mean, you might. Yeah, you might. You might. You might. You might. You You know how we get popping. Uh, (laughs) shit. How was y'all party? How was y'all week, man? There was a lot going on this week. No. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. I I mean, I would say a lot. Yeah. Yeah, This was a busy week. I mean, shit. Gucci and Jeezy in itself was just a lot. (laughs) That was this week. week. (laughs) Arguing with people about it took up the rest of my weekend. (laughs) So my week was good. Uh. You know, we did a team building exercise, which included watching the verses, Gucci versus Jeezy. And uh, me and Jazz did a hike on Friday. Oh, yes. That it was, was beautiful. Amazing. So therapeutic. So therapeutic. Even though <clears throat> she tried to get me looking like I could to get up the hill. After, right after I was after struggling you. too. <laughs> yeah. We almost, we, said, we we almost died together. twice. Nah, because it was really yeah. like a rock climb and yeah. then there's leaves. So we're like sliding. Yeah. And there's really like no, um, well, I don't know. My shoes had like no tread. No grip. Yeah. No yeah, grip. Like, so was I was no literally grip. like. We were like, and we were holding slipping. branches yeah. of trees that to were get up already kind of. So it was a good exercise, but we made it to the top and the view yeah. was amazing. Amazing. Um, Yesterday. <laughs> Somehow we were supposed to do a calm outing to go see a venue. Yep. And we ended up partying. Yeah. It was like a double date. It was It was kind of like a double date. date. Except for it was just y'all were on a date and I wasn't. <laughs> Cap. Cap. She was in here. Oh Side wow. Like, oh <laughs> no, she wasn't. <laughs> Cap. Yes. So it's, oh, Jay said cap again. So he really thinks it was cap. cap. No, it was no cap. I was not in here acting like that. Okay. Okay. None of my business, but whatever. <laughs> How was your? I week know going? Alex is probably yeah. trying to figure out like what what happened. So remember. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So supposed to be coming today. Nah. No. It was, Regular that, guy. Too much. But she brought him twice. You said I brought him that's coming my, today. You said you're coming to the podcast. So initially, I, I, but because she brought him out yesterday, yesterday, but because she came out yesterday, she had to nip one in the butt. Yeah, I had either to. Or. It's yeah, either or yeah. type of thing. Plus, like, like you don't get everything. Yeah, because I, I it's like I just saw you, so it's like now nah, I need a, a little bit of space. I need a break. I need a break. Yeah. But um, yeah, I brought him um to the versus battle, and then I brought him out yesterday with us, and I still stand on what I said. <laughs> it's just I don't know, thing. Jay. What's your what's your what do you think? Uh, what about what? Uh, him or <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, just a- <laughs> what about I mean, <laughs> about him or y'all together? I mean, like, like yeah, there's there's nothing there, right? Wait, no, nah, I can't say that. Okay, okay. I mean, I don't know. I think. I mean, I mean, we, you should- <laughs> wisdom. Yeah, he seemed like a, a, a regular dude to me. Oh wow, him. that was so shady. No, it wasn't. I'm saying I like that though. I thought it was cool. Like I, he okay. seemed he was like cool. me. He vibed with us. <laughs> like, he vibed okay. with us. You know, he, he, he did. remind me of me. The first day, like, stop. The first Jay, day, the- we was in that bitch. Turn it up. Yeah. So, stop. so the first day, he was turning up too. Yeah, but the first day, I thought he was a little. Yeah, no, he what? When Boosie came on, Yo, nah. he was bye bye. I told you, I said, I see him getting in. Two red bones kissing in. He was wild. Yeah, oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. She didn't even know. Um, because she wasn't paying know. attention. I guess she wasn't. I, was... I know what you were doing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but um, the first day we met him, he was quiet. But I think it was the whole team, so he didn't really. But yesterday, no, he was. Out of show, and I thought it was cool. He was okay, cool. Okay, okay. I don't know what cool. y'all seen because the first day I met him, he was turning up on Jeezy too. He was talking in the back, Uh-oh. like, 
He was I chilling. Didn't, I mean, I ain't, I ain't hear y'all talking to him in the back. Yeah, like, oh, he was talking oh, about the Jeezy okay. shit. Oh, like, okay. yeah, like, I guess he was a little late back to me, but I didn't know. Like, because I, I wasn't really, you know well, what I'm saying? Thank you guys for not. We started talking about football and all that. Oh, that's bro. dope. Yeah, oh, yeah. for real? Shout yeah, out. we talking about okay. you. Okay. He playing flag football and shit. Oh, hell. I know no. he got insurance like, nah, and everything. You know what I'm saying? She didn't even know. Oh, you interviewed the nigga. Nah, he was talking about He was like, we were having a conversation. Like, yeah, he had insurance. He had got hurt. He went to, you know what I'm saying? Like, we had a whole conversation. We was rapping on about Clubhouse and all that. Like, we was I feel rapping. like, I feel like, Jace, when, by the way, Jace you ain't sent nice me my invite. We got to fucking post some more <laughs> cast for the phone. Why y'all never bring Jasmine out to the city? You knew that was coming. I knew it was coming. You knew I tried, it was coming. I tried to help him out. He tried to curve it. He was like, well, I know. Okay. You know what I'm just wait and see. Just relax. Yeah, just chill, man. Mm-hmm. Relax, man. But yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we was, we was Alex, man, what's happening, man? Oh, hey, y'all, wild, Alex bro. came through Three on his Sunday's best. You better sugars. fucking let him know what the fuck is going on. You hey, better. Yo, what the fuck is. Oh. You missed what I said to Jay. Hey, oh, I said know. three creams, two sugars. You gotta stop. Bitch, <laughs> I'll walk off the podcast. All right, all right, bro. let's get to it. Let's get to it. Y'all let's get to it. Right now. Nah, let's y'all on some bullshit. I'm so everything. lost. Everything. You know what, I Cass? Just don't... Fuck you, Cass. Yeah, shout out to Cass because Cass, Cass, Cass is a funny nigga. And I'm gonna let him know. Period. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my bro, Cass, bro. My week is great though. It was great. Okay. It was, it was just, great. It was like it was like great. Like just refreshing. Read a you lot of books. Fresh. Started new books. You look right, fresh. You look fresh. Only, like, oh, only the best for the fresh. podcast. You know what I'm saying? You better right? say. You she said you look like you dropped out of heaven. I love the, oh, I I love the, the all white on the dark skin. Yeah. Oh, you look like, uh, um, how do I put this? You look wavy. Right. Yeah. yeah. I accept that. Yeah, wavy. Brother, sister. Yeah, right, right. What you thinking? Look at this. Hey, look. Hey. Hey, what? hey, what happened to um the Scorpio? Scorpio was good. We we dug it. That's oh, why you dressed up. That's you better go see her after this. You better go see her after this. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Cheers. I like That's it. Drink that shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. Alex but, uh, said, "Yeah, I am." I'm reading a book. <laughs> yeah, own that shit. Yeah, hell yeah. reading, bro. Power Broke by Damon John, mm-hmm. black guy off a of Shark Tank. If y'all don't know who that is, mm-hmm. founder of Fugu, okay. really good mm-hmm. book. Mm-hmm. And then I'm starting this other book. Well, Charlemagne's first book, Black Privilege. I recommend everybody that wants to do Actually, this, all of us it. read it because yeah. it kind of talks about maneuvering yeah. through the industry mm-hmm. as a person of color. And it's yeah. really good. Mm. Okay. I love it's to been, see it. Yeah. I fuck with uh, Clubhouse because you can like get in different rooms and they talk about different shit. So like. We were talking about uh, like maneuvering through the in- industry. Let me and tell you how Jay tried to. Clubhouse is taking tries over me my room. <laughs> Jay, Jay loves Clubhouse. Clubhouse Look at loves me. Jay, Jay, Jay lights said a thousand dollars for an invite. I said he, what? He lights up when he's on Clubhouse. He's he he likes Clubhouse more than he likes me. Like I'm convinced. That's Wait, so how do we get there? Right? I just said he, does. <laughs> he loves Clubhouse. He loves Clubhouse. Jay Charlie comes just, like Jay, something happened and then she just make up her own. No, story. Jay comes. Are you just no, intrigued no. by the conversation and having like, like, a like conversation that can work? Like, he didn't even say he. Yes, hey, babe, twice jumped on Clubhouse yesterday and was the day out. before. I was yep, here. She was here. I invited Shade to the room and everything. Yeah, like I know. Yeah, but she like that's like saying I invited you with us. I bitch. Like okay, listen, you invited me. You know, Jay is sitting in the room with us because he acted like inviting us. To engage with him on Clubhouse, Clubhouse. when we're all that's right the only here, way we can talk to him. Yeah, Yo, like that's the only fun. way we could talk to we him. Had we so had so a conversation, conversation. We had to right jump, here. We, we had, had to get on, on Clubhouse, Clubhouse talk to Jay. talk to Jay. You know what we're talking about. And he had the nerve to tell me to mute my microphone. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I fuck with Clubhouse? Yeah, honestly, what I a, wish. No, no, no. I feel like Clubhouse. You can adapt some real life uh shit with Clubhouse because I feel like. When you talking on the phone with somebody and y'all might be having a conversation, mute your fucking mic. You know what I'm saying? Mute your phone. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you can learn some shit from, from Clubhouse because it shows you manners. Like, we can't all talk at once. So when I'm speaking, mute your phone. You know what I'm saying? In real life, if I'm speaking, shut the fuck up. Mute. <laughs> Put yourself on mute. You know what I'm saying? So do I we have like, to do that as a team building exercise now? Hell we yeah. Let's all get on Clubhouse and practice. <laughs> so when we talking, just mute. Mute. Cut your fucking mic off. Like, but nah. Hey, yo. Cute. So I'm just waiting on my yeah, invite. Cute. The, I don't got the thousand dollars though. I ain't get you yeah, an invite. Nah, yeah. I got you, bro. See, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm get you in, bro. I got, I got a few uh, invites too. What is Clubhouse for? I really don't understand. Let's just like, keep get to the podcast. Nah, let's get right, to yeah, the podcast. Have a whole yeah. entire. They ain't paying us. Fuck them niggas. Clubhouse. All right, let's let's, let's get popping. Uh, you want me on there later? 
Pass the hookah. That's what you need to do. You don't know you smoke the whole hookah. First of all, you're not gonna tell Last me night I had to go to sleep like because I was watching Sade smoke the hookah, but nobody else was saying pass the hookah. So I didn't so. want to be that one. So I just went in the room and went to sleep. Because like I watched her he sit here 20 minutes straight just holding the hookah. And I'm like, yo, that's so inconsiderate. Like, pass the I'm not hookah. gonna lie, when I left, she was sitting there smoking the hookah. <laughs> It's like, yo, pass the hookah. You know it's mad people in here waiting for the hookah. Nobody want to ask for the hookah. Like, damn. We've been talking about this for fucking episodes on episodes. Why don't you just Look go make her. one? Would Look you? at her. She's like, what? <laughs> <Just sitting>. right. <laughs> Unbothered. Just unbothered. Like, whatever. <laughs> whatever, bro. Let's get into the fucking podcast, like, man. My tape is coming out. I, just I was about to ask you, did you need some tape? Because I kept saying you do like this and because shit. Because it's, like, it's tape, but it's just like, it's not working. You need some better tape. You need some duct tape. Fuck you. This is it's called. some big old ditties. First of all, my breasts are not like, big. They're not like even they that were. big. Thank you. What fuck are you talking about? My breasts yeah. are tiny now. But the tape's not working, so I'm just going to be uncomfortable. Fuck it. Don't but worry, my just so the viewers know. Is wilding, like... Okay, so are we ever going to have a conversation? <laughs> I was getting a hookah. Yeah, let's get into the bargain. I ain't even. Whatever Smoke J want, he going to have it by himself. Because I ain't about to give him that. Anyway. So. Full of cap. Cap. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Look, I, you know, I did a team building at my job and I took a lot from Monique was here. <laughs> I took a lot from that workshop, you know? They you had know? one workshop. Now she had therapy for the year. Actually, Fuck out of here. Like. She saved. Actually, you know, that's a hater response, <laughs> but I'm going to let you hate on because, you know, cool. That's Word. what my workshop told me to. Cool. Let's, all right, let's get okay. into the podcast. Where, where, where we at? Period. So. The question is, just let's get straight to it. Do you have to be with someone you're attracted to? Yes. Duh. So you, none of y'all never date no ugly motherfuckers. But attractiveness comes attract- in different ways. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it doesn't necessarily have to be looks. I like I could be attracted to personality. What? You, didn't you look relax. good, Jordan. Thanks. Speaking of attractiveness. Cool. Whole time, Come you on. know what? I actually have dated people that I was attracted mm-hmm. to and then became unattracted to them they were good looking people, yeah. but their personality sucks. And it's, cra- it's yeah. crazy how like much we joke about that, but yeah. it, 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 it matters, thing. right? It matters, for like, real. Like, like I was dating somebody that was that looked good, like outside in, and then once you get to know them, it's like, oh my God, like your soul is just fucking dark. <laughs> your soul. It's, it's like yeah. you're it's giving deep. me Alex, like you know what I'm saying? The clothes is fresh, but you dark, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, or but just- in, <laughs> in Alex, But in Alex, in Alex's case, it's a, it look good. It look, it's, a good, it's a good thing. But you get what I'm saying? On the outer level, it's like you just, you look good. You like an angel. You fucking sweet. But, on the but then when I get to empty. know you, it's just like some people have no what the fuck depth. Are you talking yeah. of right, mm. yeah, like none. No culture. No depth. No. Do you? Oh my humor, god. Humor. Nothing. So personality. No opinion. Looks. So you know. Do you think that sometimes one overshadows the other? Initially. Initially. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. It's either I've been attracted to a guy. Because I think he's cute, and then I, you know, want right. to talk to him, or I just think this nigga is right. swaggy. So or, I'm like, ooh, I, I like him. I mean, because can the, we not? Then honestly, the first thing I see is your looks. Like, so I, see, not I all the like, time for me. Can we not disregard the other thing? Because we talk about personality and looks. What about a nigga money? Girls act like they don't be attracted to a nigga money. When nigga got money, they deal with a lot of bullshit because he got money. And see, I disagree. But I, but I think this. Cap. Okay, so even with looks, I don't think it's cap. So you do you think that people because they look good, they get more chances? Absolutely. Right. I mean, so people talk about right? pretty girl privilege all the, yeah, time, all the time and all right? of that stuff. Yeah, that's not like, that's, that, that's fake. Wait, pretty girl privilege is fake. What? Yeah, let's that's talk because about you're it. Pre- coming from a pretty girl saying. Let's talk about it. That's how I can say. Let me call an ugly girl right now. But I don't. Y'all, let me call an ugly girl. I definitely don't. Why? Pretty girl privilege is in terms of like how to call an ugly girl getting multiple chances with someone. Wait, wait, we are not about to speed past him. What? You about to call an ugly girl right now? No. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Nigga, she's going to know she's ugly when she watches this. Or does she and already now, know? And now. It's like, nobody is ugly. Everybody is No, everybody is. No, every, no, 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 not everybody. There's some ugly motherfuckers out here inside and out. But, but I do believe that there is like something attractive to someone in everyone. Yeah, right. for sure. For yeah. sure. But there's some ugly That's people. why they say it's somebody like, for on. everybody out here. Exactly. So you're telling me, exactly. so you're telling me. Hmm. Y'all haven't been attracted to a nigga just because he got money. <laughs> just because? Crickets. It's like, nah. Not no, some absolutely not. motherfuckers with money. That don't shit. And, I'll be like, Ugh. hold up. And it's some corny motherfuckers with, with money. money. And it's some, some, some dirty. Shout out to you told me to fuck the nigga just because he had money when we was on a conference call. I'm, 
she didn't so say that. Though. You're lying. Like, you said you fucked the nigga because he had money. I never said that. On a conference true. call, you was like, yeah, this guy had money. And he wasn't the most attractive, but he was swaggy. So See, yeah. he was swaggy. Swaggy with the money. But you also told me. Different. But you also told me because, when we first on, got let's, together let's, that let's, let's, all your bodies came from, all, all your bodies was your, your, your boyfriend. <laughs> you did say that. You said I only had sex with my, I, yeah, with my yeah, we, we say a lot ever. of things in the beginning. Right. Like, <laughs> like, 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 trick back right. Me, like, Stop letting Jay manipulate this conversation because he's lying. Okay, so you never all, told me that? First of all, can I can we I, pull the podcast up because yeah, I've been said that. Pull, pull it up. I will find look, it. I double dare you. I double dare you. That's not wise because this is cheap and you should never bought it. That's why I mean that shit was like that's why I fucking broke. Well, it's still cheap, okay? Products cheap, 30 and all, okay? Um, so what I will say is not like Sometimes some niggas may not be all cute and face. Well, no, don't swag. skip past with the I'm conversation. Are you done? Honestly, I would always, I will always choose a, a nigga with swag over, over a, a nigga, nigga that's handsome. Right, because some niggas just swaggy as fuck. They could dress. Yeah. They, they, they isn't they walk? Right, isn't walk they right? walk and they yeah. talk? Like it's different. Like in in that alone, like damn, like he don't have. Let to me be tell you something. I physically completely gorgeous in the face like let me tell you in the way he moved. i dated a nigga who mm -hmm. was like physically gorgeous yeah. and i swear he probably was gay hey can you pass and me truth a, be he so, wasn't i don't gay. like no nigga who think he prettier than me that's not so my i thing. don't think that he thought he was prettier than I me like but i think other people thought that he looked better than me Dang. like Fuck that was nigga. the first time yeah i used to be like Fuck he all nigga. right like that was right. the first time that i've ever dated anyone and when people come up to us it's either they say oh y'all are a really good looking couple or they're like oh my god like Oh, I love your hair to him. Or I love this. I love that. And I'm like, damn, I'm standing right me? here. Like, but he was very attractive. Yeah. But guess what? When I say that I was so fucking over him by yeah. the time we ended, I yeah. was like, I don't care how attractive he is. His he personality is, is garbage. Yeah. Damn. Like, it's not for me. Like, he's yeah. so corny to me. No, I feel like, you. I ain't gonna lie. Because it's, it's, some, it's some women out there who aren't like the best attract, like who aren't the most attractive. However, they got sex appeal. So I feel like mm, with guys, it ain't like swag. Well, it. I guess it's swag. It's, it, it would be, it's it like, be considered swag. Because we won't really say a guy has sex appeal, but we'll yeah. be like, nah. Like, so, nigga, so, certain girls like aren't guy. really like. I think swag like, is sex appeal. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, we don't really call no, it we don't sex call appeal it on guys. Yeah. yeah, they call it down girls. No, nah, facts. No, nah, certain girls are like not really attractive and you know they aren't attractive. But it's like, damn. It's sort of like. But then you got girls who got both. It's like, honestly, like I think Rihanna's pretty, but some guys be like, she and all that, but she's sexy. Mm -hmm. So sometimes mm -hmm. that can mm -hmm. overshadow <clears throat> what you what you what? About to say. Evan? Rihanna's perfect, and I, I'm See? not listening See? to nothing that nobody's saying Rihanna about perfect? Rihanna, bro. Oh. Because I think the attractiveness of her for me is the hustle. Okay, it's more so like, like that. on top of like what she already has with her looks is okay. she's she's a hustler. Okay, you know what I'm so hold on. You know what I think so hold perfect? on. No, because you said that we date guys. Because well, they have money, right? Yeah, facts. So do men date? Y'all skipped over that. Nah, we didn't no, skip we over didn't. it. I said that I don't I think it's true. One thing at a time. I think that there are, of course, that's a bonus. Like that's yeah. part of the package. Just like right. he just said, Rihanna hustle. So men date women also for what they're doing. But Hell I will yeah. tell you, I ain't Bitch. never seen an ugly Mindset, nigga though. and be like, oh, he has money. I, Ever. I want to talk to him. Ever. Ever. That has never in history happened. Mm-mm. I'm like, oh, that nigga ugly with money. Sorry, I'll give you an example, money, right? Money. Yeah. That I've seen people. <laughs> ugly ass. Jay's Jay just over there. Look, Jay's like. <laughs> For real. Rich so I remember when people were talking about, uh, what's his name? P? Like yeah. the okay. CEO of uh -huh. QC. Mm. Like, and they questioned like the women that he get and like, what is it? You know what I mean? Like, what is it that he's getting this type of. But I think, he's, I think he's so. Like a boss, in a situation though. like that, like what do you think? Ugly though, you get what I'm saying? He's I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I mean, I can't speak on it, but I'm just. But, I, but some people I think, are just put together. I think well, it's well put still. together. I was gonna so say. You know what I'm saying? Some people not. I know girls in guys like that. You got money, you can put yourself together. But it, yeah, but, but not everybody like, puts no, themselves on, on. together right. So, okay, That's not exactly, true. Exactly, because some people are still some bamas. Yeah, nah. Some people are still tacky. I feel like like I know people who can't dress and got money. But you know what? I feel like also together. It's his. It, like it's also his ambition because a lot of people will say Jay Z is ugly, but I personally am attracted to Jay Z. Oh, I wow. think that Jay Z, I am. I think that Jay Z's swag and his but but his he, mentality right. makes that him attractive. He moves like a boss. He moves like a boss. He moves, he moves and walks and dresses like a boss. Yeah. So yeah, it's like. So, but that's what I say. He, but he's put together. He exudes well. confidence. That's and, sexy. Yeah. For sure. So is it shallow though if you just stop talking to someone because of their attract like? Is that shallow or is it not nah, standards? I just feel like I think a lot if of, anything, it's it's deep because some people will be like, well, they look the part they they're on paper. They're the part. So, yeah. But I think that if you do stop talking to somebody because you don't find attraction to them, I think that's deep because it's like 
okay, like we said, you could be physically attractive, but if I'm not attracted to your spirit or your personality, then yeah, I'm shallow for staying because yeah. that means like I really just am going off of the surface. Like what about feelings? So I think it's actually deep to be like, all right, look, I'm not attracted to you. I'm going to fall back. Right. We, we was having this conversation on Clubhouse about um having sex with somebody that's uh that you're not equally yoked to, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like... You were having the conversation on what? What is that, bitch? Clubhouse, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> whatever. By the end of this podcast, we're going to have mean, a sponsorship. I'm telling you. 50,000 times. <laughs> By the end of the podcast, we're going to have... All right, it. so what was going on? So now we were just having a conversation about could you, uh, could you have sexual intercourse with somebody that's... uh not equally yoked as you, right? And I was saying, well, we, we would, part of the conversation was, you really don't know who's equally yoked until you get to know them. Like, you can't just meet somebody and be like, oh, well, I'm not equally yoked. And I feel like it's So wait, same... when you say equally yoked, like in, in terms of what? Like finances or in terms of like personality? So what? equally yoked just means as like sharing the same, I mean, well, technically it would be like sharing the same beliefs as you, but- Okay. Values, yeah. yeah. Right, so I just feel like a lot of times it goes into this conversation because what we deem is our moral value. What we deem is our more moral value values. Yeah. Values uh -huh. will make somebody unattractive because if they don't share the same yeah. uh, mindset as us, because we yeah. we we think. I mean, I feel like all of us would think that our mind is the best way to think, and not saying like just unintentionally. That's what we think as humans. I think. So. I Oh, that's cute. So anyway, yeah. So I just feel like I just feel like when having this conversation, I feel like when you date somebody, yeah, you're getting to know them. But honestly, it comes down to how long does it take to get some, to know somebody? You know what I'm saying? Because you can be dating somebody and you might not be attracted to who they are, or you can be dating somebody because you are attracted to who they are, and then you find out that they don't think the same way you think, and it's like, yo, what the so fuck? Hold on, I have a go ahead, go ahead. And Alex, not to put you on the spot because I have two friends that are practicing celibacy before these reasons. Oh, Alex is not wow. celibate. <laughs> are we the are, are we the two friends? No, but Alex isn't one of them. Wait, you told me. But wait, Alex, you told me. You told me. Oh, you fucked the Scorpio? Yeah. You told Bro, me. Wait a Alex, you saw. He's been guiding them guts. Y'all know Scorpios you like sex. Me, you told me you was waiting till marriage. She probably, no. You I was, told me you were waiting till marriage. Now, she probably gave him that box the first day. <laughs> <he went over>. <laughs> <laughs> is this what the white is for? I'm reborn. <laughs> is this what the white is for? I don't, I'm honestly, just, we're gonna I'm gonna talk. be honest. Oh my god! Talk about honestly, team bonding. Clearly, feel, ain't none. I feel I wasn't there. First of all, shit. I was at work. But look at I her feel face. a little bit betrayed by you. I feel betrayed. Why? Why? Because he fucking? No, because he no, told because us he told that he wasn't going to. No, he was. Yeah, yeah, and he I was. was and now he got a girlfriend. Okay, but it's no different than when you if you break up with. Uh, you're, yeah, you're you, you tell, tell us, us right you now. tell us when you, you yeah, break that too. That ain't none of y'all business. Why y'all want to know when he's putting it's his dick like in somebody's pussy? It's not like you're doing it now for because a spiritual journey, us. Alex. Y'all want to know when this nigga <laughs> fucking? It's not that. It's just that. It is that. You want to well, know about his penis. Ask you the question. Are you done? Worry about who he fucking. Don't worry about who I'm at fucking. No, I'm worried about. Prior to that, though. I'm worried about your reasoning for being celibate now. Because you said that it was some. Because he just didn't want to give himself to somebody he wasn't fucking with. Okay, so that's my question. Did you was that a part of the situation of being celibate of finding somebody you're equally yoked to before yes. you do it? And the right. reason why is because I'm just she was celibate too okay. at the same okay. time. So it wasn't like it was yeah. just me. It was a it was an equal thing. Said. Yeah, I mean, hey, I gotta trust Don't it. I trust her. God. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay, very good, Alex. Okay, very but good. Alex, very good. This is this is what. Okay, so this is basically what I have to say about that. And this is not a no. So this is not a knock on you because I've been quote unquote celibate, but I don't call it that because I feel like if you're celibate, it means that you're abstaining from sex until marriage, right? But it's if you're so just, a, but I you're, thought that was abstaining. Completely. I don't think that you were. Know. I feel like you weren't abstaining. I just feel like you didn't have anyone that you wanted to have sex with. So that's you just not read that definition. And you remembered it. Huh? There's no way in hell you. Just, I'm smart, nigga. You know this. You know why? Like he googled it. <laughs> I know why I'm here. Yeah, like, he said abstaining from. Yeah, he's like this bitch is dictionary right. J. That's me. Well, maybe it wasn't that. I mean, but at the time, my intentions were to be that. But then I found someone that. But I that's when the test it. comes when you find somebody you no, want to No, he just fuck. found somebody that deserved the dick, so he gave it. <laughs> she dropped that dick off, niggas, and she does. You know what I'm saying? She accepted it. it. All right, well, I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been happy because cause the bitch is jealous. I mean, okay, because <laughs> I ain't getting none. But I'm happy for you, Alex. But I'm celibate, and I mean it, Alex. You ain't Not no your fucking celibate. celibate. Yes, I am. 
Oh my god, girl. What? No, seriously, I am because if that's what celibate is, <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> then I'm celibate. <laughs> yeah. You just had your whole definition of this. Well, okay, it's not, but if I'm I'm Alex type celibate. No, but seriously, I think it's great. It was a. And it's Alex celibacy. I like right? that. I like Alex it. type celibacy. Hey, like I like like, like like blood type. Alex type celibacy. Yeah, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Alex type. But celibacy. No, you gotta say the whole thing together. Alex type celibacy. Yeah, I like that. I like but, that. I like yeah. that. Cheers. So, I was gonna ask. <laughs> segue from that, kind of. Uh, I remember JT once said, "You're not ugly. You're broke." Do you agree? JT from the City Girls. She always said, Man, you're, cool. "You're not ugly." JT, I'm just asking boy. you, my nigga. And the way he said, ugly? he said, "JT <laughs> once said." He like, like nah, he seriously, like she's shaking. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, 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 like the fuck is going? No, on? seriously. Do you think that's true though? Because you were talking about like a guy with money and everything. Do you feel like you're not ugly? You're broke. Like it's so, a financial I feel thing. like there are instances where yeah, it's like you're not even ugly. It's just that you look rough and you can't put yourself together the way you could you could you could be more presentable but i mean look at gucci man gucci man was ugly who are we kidding ugly. now gucci man fine so it's like sure. i don't know but he had money when he was ugly but i guess it's more so like <laughs> you so gucci man not all right i'm nah, not no i'm talking about on that real shit i mean it's, it's some real <laughs> shit. Dick. Nigga, i mean he's married yeah he's them sour apple bitter bitter I ain't fucking with them next topic I interview a lot of I interview a lot of celebrities yeah yeah <laughs> fuck as you mean yeah fuck as you mean this so no to answer your question <laughs> no Alex mean. but to answer your question fuck you mean I think that yeah there are instances where somebody's not broke it's just that <laughs> Like you ever seen somebody get a fresh cut and you'd be like, like, "Damn, okay, you right, are right. attractive." Before you know, it's like you who were are you. I'm Hell, sure. I, I know how look at you. I look when I don't get my hair done. So speaking okay. of that, though, right? I feel like that's a great conversation of like, what does it take for you to wait? Because I feel like <clears throat> it's been so many guys that have been broke and had dreams, and <laughs> girls don't give them a chance. And the next thing you know, they oh, lit. Left, I always matter of fact, it's no. It, it was crazy because again, I'm sorry, but I was Love having a conversation oh, and uh, we were talking, and, and um, three O was on there. And you know, like so just that was a three O. That's my nigga. Yeah. Like so him. just what a month or two ago, not even that long. Well, now he's been kind of lit for a minute. Yeah, now, but he's but starting to get like really. More yeah, lit, yeah. Like, so like, but yeah. just not too long ago, let's say like yeah, that. yeah. He was regular three O. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I bet you the girls that's on his line now probably are totally different. It's totally different. And yeah. I feel like what, like, why does it take that for for a girl to to, to give you some time? Because let's be realistic those are probably not girls that are genuine or sometimes it could be someone genuine, but you're not on their radar because you're not on their level. Now there are some girls. That's a who, great point. There are mm. some girls who now he can say, nah, you're not on my, my level. level right? But then Same there way. are some girls where it's like, that probably already. And do y'all yeah. think I'm probably like, damn nigga. Like right. I used to so deal y'all with think, me before. Y'all think like, niggas be trying to date out of, out of their level? Like out of absolutely. their Absolutely. Well, I much? think, I think girls too. About yeah. this. And you know, uh, Vaughn said something the other day. RP to Vaughn, when I, we was watching his interview, he was like, you know, as he got to different levels, it was different levels of women. It's yeah. not the same. Like he was like, and he would never, he was like, you know, he used to deal with the pretty girls in the hood. He's like, but he would never deal with those girls. Hood. He was like, he was never deal with when you get those out the girls again though. Like, because he's not in the hood no more. Like I'm, over then why, here, then so why, never mind. Psych. You know what? I Jasmine. said psych. I said psych. <laughs> I said psych. You, but it's real. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, so I think that in in that case, I think like when it's all said and done, girls are not like some girls. Like my mother taught me that you 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 basically groom a man into the man you want him to be. Like you build him up. But your mother was wrong. Sorry, I was gonna say. Uh... In what way? You think so? I was going to say, well, I want to hear, yeah, I wanna, I wanna hear more of what you're going to say. Yeah, I want to hear more of what you're going to say. say. Go ahead. So she was basically saying, like, if you like a guy, but he's not, like, where you want him to be, then you mold him into what you want him to be. And I don't know why guys are look, why y'all are looking like that, because y'all do, the, do it all the time with women. So we do it, too. But I always feel like with girls, we're a little bit less patient when it comes to that. We like to see it right then and there when to you even be say mold, intrigued. And Give me an example think. of what you say by mold. When okay, you mold. so, okay, like, remember the show Insecure? Okay. Okay, so remember, yeah. like, um, what's her the boyfriend? boyfriend? Yeah, her boyfriend. Yeah. Lawrence Lisa was, friend, yeah, Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence was Lisa. on his way to being yeah. what he became. Right. But at the time when he was dating her, she wasn't patient enough to mold him into that. You know what I'm saying? Like, she could have helped him 
get there. But she she basically got tired of waiting and she rolled out and with men. I feel like they're a little bit more patient when it comes to building their bitch up to be what they want to see. And that's my frustration mm -hmm. with like, it's crazy. <laughs> we was having a conversation, but anyway, going back to that. First of all, I don't think it's molding. I think it's just being because patient because, <laughs> because I don't think like even a three old situation right now to keep going back to him. But I feel like um, with him, like you don't need nobody to mold him. If anything, you need somebody to be patient. You know what I'm saying? That's that's anybody that's in that's, that's that's chasing their dreams, right? I feel like yeah, a lot of women can get impatient, and that's understandable. But however, it's like yo, I don't need you to mold me. I just need you to be patient because I got a dream and I'm gonna make it happen. As long as I'm doing everything else I gotta do. Now, when it comes from a man perspective, what I will say and holding ourselves, myself accountable. A lot of times we get one dimensional, and what that means is like I'm focused on my dreams, and that's all I'm focused on. And I that means that and and I'm lacking You're giving saying, extra yeah. compassion, okay, giving but extra. You, but you know what else time. though? What about the fact that a lot of guys who get to that point, right? When they do have a woman who was patient, they they Drop do her them. dirty by the time they get there. They want they want what's already there now. Or they don't want to treat her like she was down for the, you know what I'm saying? For the cause. Like now all of a sudden, my my options changed. You aren't really what I'm attracted to anymore. Yet this was who you could get prior. And this is who waited for you to get there. And now you're on and you leave her. Is like it, Kanye said. And when you get on, you, you leave your ass for a white, white girl. But it's not even that. I just feel like, uh, because with, along with that, you got a great point. Yeah, he did it. Uh, you got a great point. But I think with that journey comes so much entitlement. With that journey comes, so, and I, I mean, from the woman, or not even from the woman, but because we're still having this conversation, but whoever had to wait, I feel like comes so, many, so much entitlement. And it's like, now that I'm here, it's like, you think you expect so many other things. You want me to do this or that, and it's like, yo, leave me. The, it's like, just leave me the fuck alone. But that's almost. not fair. Because almost, why were you bothering her before not, you no, got it's there? Not, it's not. It's not about it being fair or not, man. But I understand that. And also, what I'm saying is, I feel like a lot of women that that wait or was patient, they they're doing it for a purpose. And then once it happens, see, that's not fair. No, but that's what I feel like. Sometimes, even we just talk, had a conversation last week. We were talking about how why people don't leave. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's one of the reasons. Like, all right, I'm waiting. And now when I'm here, I'm expecting it to be something. And it's not what I expected it to be. So now I'm even that much bitter. Or now I have that much more resentment. And it's like, yo, a nigga get frustrated. Because it's so, kind of like acrimony. Make it, like so, the movie Acrimony, kind of yeah, what nah, you're saying. It, acrimony is wild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that shit was wild. But what I will say is, I guess, like, I feel like there's women like that, but th I do feel like there's women on the other end who just was patient and yeah. also feel deserving. Yeah. But guess because, what? Like, Some of them put what? their so, stuff aside yeah, to help. Like, so yeah, like, man, yeah. like, and sometimes, and that's why I, 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 um, I um, always say, like, some, it's like, some women just deserve it. It's not an entitlement thing. It's like, I did stay down, so, like, yeah, you up. Yeah, bring me up too because I, then, I was here. And then like, what are you, know you going to do? Go it's give no it to the next mother who doesn't or, deserve it? Or, That's or, not or fair. Why did she get it? Why did she get it? It's interesting though because like I kind of had a, a situation that I was talking about with my friend yesterday where like he's up now. He He's in the IT field, but he had to teach himself everything. He didn't go to school for it. So he was down and his woman was kind of holding it down for that time. And now that he's up, he kind of like we had the conversation and I was like, so are you he was like, I have to hold it down because she's trying to invest in herself. Which means she's not going to be able to do things f financially that she was doing before because she has to take a step back. So it's kind of like that equal exchange. And I feel like there's cases where that happens, but you got to have that communication mm -hmm. to know that that's the end goal. Mm -hmm. And I feel like because when we talk about equally yoked and stuff like that, what is the mission? We always talk about what is the mission and it. Going back to that, I think once you have that equal mission, a lot of times once you make it. I think sometimes the mission wasn't clear. Yeah. So it's like our missions don't coexist. Our, we're not equally yoked. So then it's a decision to make. And but, but then even you wonder why women either. don't want to sit Pass around and wait to find out if that's what's gonna happen. Like it can make us reluctant. Now all of a sudden we can feel like, well, that didn't work in that instance. It's like if you see somebody do something and you see how it ends up, you're gonna be taking that into account right. when it's your turn turn to do it. So if you see these men get on and then all of a sudden try to carry the person that held them down. Now we're looking like, um, yeah, I'm a, I might hold you down, but I'm always going to look out for myself because I've seen this story and I've seen how it ends. Mm. I'm not going to sit around and wait to figure out if our story is going to end differently. That's, that's why but we that's, have to move how we move. And that comes from uh, a um, sense of, yeah, like 
not healing. And I just feel like it's so normal <laughs> to not heal and be okay with it. And um, and I just feel like that's not right on either well, side. Well, you're giving me Jeezy vibes because it's like, well, and that's I'm why I was about to go with it. You did to me, but even still, no, no. Sometimes <laughs> how about don't do it. No, I sometimes, but it. sometimes <laughs> the next guy's dealing with something that somebody else did to you, and that's not fair either because you didn't heal. So it's like I just feel like we gotta normalize healing and, and normalize. I also, my bad, go ahead, I man. also think we need to normalize that healing is not one way. Healing is a a long journey. It's not like a you don't always just a- arrive to your healing destination. Like right. I'm here, I healed. Like the healing is a journey, a every day uphill journey. It's not, oh, you should arrive there already. So forget but, that now. And like, honestly, that's not how that goes. and I respect, I, I respect your opinion. I do. I promise. However, I feel like so many people use that to be a crutch and an excuse. People do. And, and I'm people not do. like, I'm, I would never disagree with that. However, it's like, yeah, you're right. It is a every it is a journey. You know what I'm saying? It's not just going to happen overnight. However, you have to understand where you are in your journey and recognize that and self reflect on it and be able to Absolutely. acknowledge that. I agree. Everybody yeah. should recognize where they at and you know, just, where they are on that. But just like you said, you said some women do. You was like um, some women some, do. No, no, not even yeah. that. You was like some women um when it came to uh like having expectations and yeah. having this sense of entitlement. Yeah. Some women do, but guess what? Some men do have that woman from the bottom up and they treat them yeah. nice so it's like if we have in the conversation of some woman i mean we wouldn't have to have this conversation you know what i'm saying because I, well, I some people do some people don't what side you're speaking to because i feel like because they both exist you can be speaking to whichever side you want to speak to you know what i'm saying like and that's why i'm big on like you know i always speak to i only know how to speak to the woman that the type of woman i am like you know what i'm saying like however what type of woman it doesn't, are you well i i I was already lit. You found me like this. That's the type of woman I've always been. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, what do I don't really... do with you waiting or... I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Because I'm never waiting. That wasn't you know what I'm saying? moment. Yeah, nah, real shit. Like, I'm never waiting on anything. Like, I'm, I, I arrive lit. I'm going to be lit with, without... It don't matter to me. To be honest, it really don't. Like, as long as you're ambitious and you doing what you're doing, I'm going to always do what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? For me and mine, no matter what. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if we attach, you a part of mine. But if we are no longer attached... I'm then still I'm good. Still getting it done. I'm still getting it done. So I'm not waiting for anybody to arrive anywhere because I don't care. At the end of the day, I care about you meeting your goals and I care about you getting there. But if you don't get there, it's not hurting or harming me ever. Mm. I'm st- like, look, it's never harming me. And, and this is exactly, those are my sentiments. Exactly. Yeah. Look, I'm going to where I'm going Regardless. with or without you. Now, if you make it there as well, of course, I want to see you there. But if you don't make it there, I still got to go there. But back to your original point of your mom saying that you got to mold a man. I feel like that's a lot. I think that's a part of the problem because so many women come into something thinking they're supposed to mold somebody. And it's like, no, mold yourself. You know what I'm saying? Coming into this happy, coming to this hill, coming to this being you. So when she says mold a man, she's not saying we were talking about from the aspect of just, you know, um, I guess pre- pre- presentation. presentation. Yes. So if you... Hey, excuse if you, me, I'm sorry. Can somebody give me another um uh hose, please, if y'all don't mind? If you like some if you like a guy, right? Mm-hmm. And say his haircut is fucked up, you might put him onto another barber. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Now all of a sudden, his haircut be lit. Be lit. Now, but see, you don't just notice that. Now there's other people yeah, noticing that too. Shit. So my whole point was we can you can mold somebody to get so, to a certain place and then Sometimes when they get there, they try to carry you. That's a fact. Like, and, but so even I with women, would, like these yeah. women who get their bodies done and stuff yeah. by these dudes that they were fucking with prior to right. having their body done, all of a sudden now they got new now attention. Now they a bad bitch. Yeah, so. now they a bad bitch. So it's like, well, I got options. So, I mean, nah. You can do what you want. You yeah, got the body right. for me, but I'm good now. But, you know, so I guess in my terms, I don't think I would call it molding because I think that everybody should be adding value somewhere, Right. So, for example, like you brought up the, you know, the example of like, say your man's hair fuck up. You you give him a lit barber. Now he keep going to that barber. He lit. I think that's what every like relationship ha- should have in him. Like if my hair is fucked up and, you know, a lit stylist put me on. You get what I'm saying? Agreed. Like, you know, what I'm saying put me on. So because like I remember one time I ain't gonna lie to you. One of my um uh one of my exes. Right. Had told me was like, oh, I got a hairstylist for you. And I was like, he was like, I used to I seen this girl get her hair done. And he was like, I was like, why are you telling me about some bitch hair? I don't care. He was like, nah, but hers be the best. But I was offended. This was younger me. I was offended. Like, so? Like, he's like, but no, because I want my girl to have the best. Like, you get what I'm saying? So I'm only telling you to have the best. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't always necessarily think it's molding. I think 
adding value to whatever the situation is, is just a good thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it could look like molding, but to me, it's just value. It's just adding value. And you know I'll, what I mean? It's a couple to that. I don't think it's just, well, I don't agree with the molding thing. Cause they, you know, like how they always say like, when Burbage, you date mm. bad boys because they think they can change them and stuff. Because when you when I no, think no, of no, molding, no, no, I think but see, but, that's opposite of my mother's experiences. Because when I say mold, my mother is saying like, OK, I got a good guy. Right. I like him. But he doesn't meet all of my. Crack. He doesn't dress good. So but so that's stuff was, like that. But like, I'm going to get him these shoes, but, you know, and, sneak and, it in there. But you got to understand sudden, that you I, and I understand and I respect that. However, we got we can't. We can't ignore verb is one, and we can't ignore the fact that you want somebody, you still want something that you like, and you, you're ignoring the fact that, not saying you are, but I feel like in the larger consensus of things, people ignore the fact that people are different. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with what you're saying. I just feel like when it comes to us as a whole, I feel like a lot of women go into a relationship trying to mold somebody or trying to make somebody make their partner who they want them to be and not accepting who they are. And that's where how that's where a lot of arguments. Yeah, but happen. I think you don't know any better and it's I'm just trying to no help fair. you. And, and, that's and, where also, and I also comes. think and I also think it's it's I also think on the opposite end if I'm for example, if you like your haircut the way you do, but I'm like, I got a lip barber, go to this barber, but you like it. I think it's your responsibility to tell me like nah, like yeah. I'm good. Like if you go with it and like fuck it, I'll go. Yeah. And then you, like that's really because what if, too. What if you like that's really on the person haircut and but she if you, does. right but if you okay with like if you're like but i don't care about that like i'm good on that i feel like that's that person's responsibility yes. to go into the fact that i don't want to change that yes. i want to keep this as like a this grown is something up, as i a like grown adult, as a, I yes. feel like that's, and that's what i'm gonna and say it, and, and, yeah. and that's that's my like part of the problem with like you know what i don't think is fair when it comes to the men and women aspect because i feel like men are some men are more open open than some women when it comes to like like you said, Adapting getting a haircut. You saying okay, 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 cool. I'll go get my haircut even though it's something I don't care about or even though it's something that I probably don't want to do, but I'm willing to do that. But it's like, it's not the fact that I want you to do the same thing of getting your hair done, but I want you to be open enough to be like, yo, okay, cool. I got somebody that can do your hair. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be an equal exchange. And that's why I, I think equally yoked is. And I feel like a lot of times, like y'all are right. And I think that's a man thing that we got to do better at, but I can't sit up here and lie and say it's something that we don't wish that we had. It's like, yo, we are open enough to be like, you know what? I'm going to go get my haircut even if I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I want the same thing for my woman. But in a lot of times, and I think this is where women just might be more mature than men, that because y'all know exactly what y'all want, that y'all not going to um, I don't think compromise. we know exactly Compromise y'all. Yeah, it's not like y'all not going to compromise y'all character oh, yeah, because that, you yeah. know exactly what you want. And for men, it's like, I'm not compromising my character. I'm just being open to something else. And I think that's where the down that the, the the shift changes. Well, we're like, more emotional, so I'm gonna be more likely to get offended. Like she said, mm -hmm, like first she was mm -hmm. like, oh, "Yeah, you I was like, that's my like this bitch, bitch like, yeah. stop playing with me." But in but the retro, but yeah. in the end goal, it was really no. I want it you to have the best those hair. Were, that wasn't the intent. Exactly. And, but but also, women are defensive because we're more emotional. So if you tell me, "Oh, well, you know, I think your nails would look better red," honestly, I'm gonna be like, "So what you trying to say that white's not good on me?" Go ahead. It says that y'all really don't want the truth. No, it's not well, that we don't want the truth. It's well, how you present it because we don't ever well, want to feel like like you're not a part of a woman. Like you know how men like their ego yeah. to be. Yeah, yeah. We, want, yeah. You, we want you to know. We want to feel like you like what we got. Yes. However, what I will say is, I also don't think it's the aspect of um. Like for example, it's not the truth because you liking red on my nails doesn't mean that white isn't nice on my nails. You get mm. what I'm saying? It's just that you prefer red. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like it doesn't mean that my white nails aren't nice. Yeah. Like you just prefer red. So it's not really you're giving me you just don't want the truth. I'm telling you red looks better in your hands. That's really a uh, opinion. You right. But I'll try it. If but I, if yeah, I value, like, if I value how you feel, I will try it. Right. So but I if I don't like it, I'm gonna I'm go gonna, right, right back, back to, to white. white. Yeah, and I'm okay with that. But can we just can I just throw this in here real quick because I want this clip for mine. So I'm you sorry. Can't do that. That's, no, no, because pre, listen, I did. I did clip, because like, I want somebody <laughs> to hear this. Okay, go ahead. So <laughs> I can't get over this, guys. I'm trying, but it's been hard for me. So this is off topic, kind of, but okay. Somebody was trying to quote unquote court me, right? Mm -hmm. And they gave me some cash, some money. Mm -hmm. Now, I did not ask for this money, I even insisted that they keep this money. But they said that they wanted to give me the money because they wanted to. 
Fast forward to a no, few weeks later. Baby, say the whole you story. Deserve. You okay. blew it on some dumb shit and he felt bad and he was like, yo, I want to look out for you. Yes. And I was like, but I'm good though. I could take the L. Like, I'm cool. And he like, nah, 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 I want to see you win. Because baby, you deserve. Because you deserve. So I'm like, nah, but then I'm like, all right, cool. Because guess what? This is not somebody that I baby, let on in any way to think. Shut up. This is not somebody that I let on in any way to think that he was ever going to get intimate with me. We was just cool. So fast forward to a few weeks later. This nigga hit me like, yeah, you got that money I loaned you? Huh? Run my shit back. So now it was a loan? So I guess I'm bringing this here today because, first of all, I think that's corny. Thanks. But when we talk about investing into somebody, right, as men, when you do these type of things, is it because you have other intentions with somebody or is it because you genuinely are looking out? It depends on the relationship. Yo. What you about to say? Yeah, I think um. <laughs> nah, nah say what you about to like, say? say no, like why? I to me, I just personally wouldn't have phrased the question that way, because honestly, I feel like it starts with you. You took the money. You know what I'm saying? Like I insisted on not you taking didn't it insist though. enough. Because if you insisted I enough, insisted you would have took it. Times, you but it's like, but whose fault but is that what, that you want to give it to say, me? Whether you insisted and I or I took it, I feel like. The question the, the still question, stands. I feel like no, because for example, my friend be like, I'll pay for your food. No, nah, I'm good. I'll pay for your food. No, nah, I'm good. No, nah, I got you. Okay, then. And then you say, I got you. And three weeks later, you're like, yo, can I get that money back? <laughs> Fair. That's why I said that the question me, still stands. I don't, I don't think whether I took it doesn't matter. Because so, to answer your you question, gave it to is me. That corny? And you didn't place it as a loan. Yeah, if, in the if beginning, you said you it say, as a loan, loan I could have declined. If you say, I'll loan you the money, you could give it back to me later, I'll be like, nah. Nah, I'm good. I'm not, your, I'm not doing no IOUs. To answer your question, like, you know no. to answer your question, yes, it's very corny. Definitely okay. corny. However, that doesn't take away from the fact that you took the money. Now, I, we that both mean? can I co- I, I feel like both realms so. can coexist in the same realm. Yeah, he was corny for giving you the money, saying he was giving it to you and wanting to look out and asking for it back. He was wrong, yeah. However, you were wrong for taking the money if you didn't so, want to take it. Okay, so who's really wrong? Because both of y'all. Said I would have <laughs> given him some, right? Or say I would have act like I like him, then I would have been wrong because it's like, all right, now I know that I'm doing this to keep this money or to get this money, but I never, I never played it like that. So had I kept liking him, you think he would have asked for that Guess money? Guess what back? though? Guess what though? Right? You never know because it didn't happen. Because only thing right now you can assume. Like we had a, it's funny, right? Because, and this is what I think. I don't know. I can't talk about it, but for me though, we had a conversation the other day about um live podcast situations, right? I felt the way I called somebody, and when I was explaining to them, I was explaining of what it looked like to me, and he told me you can't go off of that because you don't know. You know what I'm saying? He strictly told me like you can't go off of that, so you're wrong for feeling that way because you don't know. You ain't give him a chance to to react off of this. You know what I'm saying? And I had to look myself in the mirror, I'm like you know what? You're right. They didn't say this. This is something that I assumed. Like. I, and that is what it is. You assume that because you didn't fuck him, he wants his money back. And although that might be a great assumption, you can't go off of that because you don't know. And I so, could agree with that. But the fact is, I do know is <laughs> you didn't place it as a loan. Exactly. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. That's and, why and, that's, so that's part corny. That part is corny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part is corny. The assumption, the great assumption, no assumption, we don't know. But the one thing I do know, a part of the story is, you never said you loaned it to me. Right. So Facts, that's corny. For you to ask me, Hands no, down. God forbid, like, you know, Jazz got her bread, but for, God forbid she didn't have the bread, right? Yeah, what if and I that, didn't have it? And, and you're really like, I need like, my money back. And, fucked and, up. and it's fucked up because now I'm like, damn, Christmas is coming. My daughter, the. I mean, even the I, fact that you got, got the money is still got, fucked up because still, it's like, it takes a dent out of something in a situation Yeah, and it's like, you didn't tell me that. I didn't plan for that. I didn't plan for that. Like, God forbid that was the case, but it's like, you didn't play it as a loan. Like, and even if it wasn't a nigga. Who was trying to court you, right? If it was your friend, it's, it's wrong. Yeah, Don't it's wrong. do that. Yeah, That's why I said to me, it ain't about her taking the money because if you should have said this, this is, is a loan. loan. No, I get it. No, hundred percent is, is fucked a up. Loan. I'm not taking that away. That is fucked up. Like now, that's not I even agree. An argument. We that's don't a... know the assumption. However, that alone right there. It's fuck boy, go, it's boy, what? fuck you. Yeah, yeah boy, and, fuck you. I'm sorry. I know that boy, was off topic. I just had to get that out. I hope he ain't throwing me into no shit because he probably sees... looking at us like, fuck this nigga. Who the fuck is him? What? I don't know I'm, this nigga. Hey, man, we'll get rid of this nigga. I mean, t- Y'all can get hey, rid of this nigga. Out. I don't know this edit nigga. I don't even know what he looks like. Wait, wait, I need to see a picture now. Edit that out. No, but honestly, I just had to say something because it bothered me. And I feel like we talked about it a couple times this week because it's like- I got a question for you. What type of dude does that? I got a question for you. Any, but what type of person? What's yeah, not even a dude? Yeah. I, got, I, got a, I just went and Because girls that. do like, it too. Speaking of, they'd be like, oh, give me them shoes back. I bought you because 
I heard you was on a date with so and so. He's laughing because he probably knows. Like that nah, happens. I mean, yeah, that does happen. I never done that, but I'll actually. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I want to do that. So I, like, I ain't gonna lie. I'd be lying if I didn't say deep down in my like soul. You understand? Like, it, not understand. Like shit. It was like a alter ego of me. Like I wish I could do that. Cause like. Cause you're mad. Yeah, I would want to do that. Like, but I just can't do but that. But even just like me, like. I, I can't do I it. I can't do that. Like me, like I'll take the L. Like, I'll, I'll just take the L. Shade is cap. Like, what you talking me about? Me and Shade had L. arguments, right? Mm -hmm. And she will be like, matter of fact, I think we had an argument <laughs> after my birthday, and she was like, "All right, bet. Well, I'm gonna take my shoes and all that back." And I'm like, <laughs> "Damn, I said, you're lying. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's wow. full blown cap." <laughs> On camera, he's lying. He's lying. Wow. He's so he wasn't going to take your Balenciaga's back? Never. I've and you like, you going to sell them all? Yo, you lying. I never said that to you. You're lying. <laughs> okay, You're bad. like bold face lying. That's bad. That's not even cute. All right, baby. Right, that's random that's to lie about. That yeah, was a random very, ass lie, but it okay. It is a random ass lie. You just don't remember. Never, nah, you're making it up. Okay. You must have thought that in your dream. You know you be making shit up like and waking up like, Nah, I remember, like, just like you said that yesterday on the phone call, I said that I, I, I fuck with niggas. I never said that, but you said that too, right? You did that never it. happened. You I said, said you fucked the, the nigga because he had money. I said that on you the phone call. You was like, he had swag. That? No, she said he had swag. Thank right, because he had but money. I, I never said that. No. I said I fucked no. him on the but, phone. So all I'm and saying, I said that you're lying. All right, all right wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out. So, camera so, shows so I'm not, no, a gem no, liar. No, I'm not lying. Gem well, liar. Matter of fact, this debunks not, your whole theory about, oh, because a guy has money, because guess what? This guy has money, and guess what? I don't like him. I'm not attracted to him. Fair. So guess what? What I'm saying that's is, it. I'm that's not it. lying. That's I might have just, but I might have just twisted it in my own words. That's a lie. But no, you said you did say you fucking niggas because he has swag. That was a joke. I mean, you said you he had just money. said I fucked the no, nigga because he had money. I was joking. Swag and money I know, are two but I, I'm things, saying that was a joke. Lied. But it clearly was on the but same it, level. No, all right, so hold up. So, so as men, Gemini, if y'all have the same Gemini, privilege as women, first of all, I know they'd run with it and abuse it. But so y'all gonna tell me y'all ain't gonna kick it with a bitch that got some bread? Because shit, it's gonna be more fun and it's gonna be more free. I mean, wait. I'm, <laughs> but that's the thing. I wouldn't. Me, I'm gonna say like yes. No big niggas. But no, I know that be like. But no, I know but that's, big a, niggas. that's the difference. I've seen the end of, <laughs> look, but this is the it. point. The end of the end of episode 45. That's the difference. Cause I'm not about to sit here and say no. I'm gonna say yeah. <laughs> the difference is, is when I ask you, it's like no, you're lying. But like, you, but, but that why was is a there lie. a negative she, stigma you on just it? Said, no, what you said was a lie. You said you fucked the <laughs> because of money. That's a lie. However, <laughs> I never say. Joke. He, he was swaggy. He was swaggy because he had money. I never said so that. So you'll fuck a bitch because no, she I got think money? No, I swaggy because he dressed in a Hold up. So you'll fuck a bitch because she got money? Will I fuck a bitch because she got money? Yeah. Have you? Oh, now now you don't. Oh, now money. it's. Mm. I told y'all my, my my story. What? Like, <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got like a, uh, a soft spot in my heart for like needy bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Not needed. It's a soft part of my heart for a girl that 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 need help. Like I'm, I'm, I'm at least I can recognize that. You know what I'm saying? But a lot okay, of men so are like that. You have a savior complex. It's called the hero. I'm not gonna lie. No, it's called complex. the hero instinct. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, apparently, but, they're saying it's in the male biology now that men feel like if they can't save you, that they don't want you. They don't want you. I'm just being honest. <laughs> so, but I got a question for y'all. Speaking of money, since we on the same topic, right? Question: Is it a salary cap to raw sex? Absolutely. I ain't fucking no nigga. That raw that I know can't handle the smoke that comes with fucking raw. So if I get pregnant and I don't want it, or if I get pregnant and I do want it, you better be able to make sure that you can do your part. So have you ever had an abortion before? I've had several. Oh, okay. So how much is the abortion yeah. actually, really? <laughs> so <laughs> Wait. honestly, how much is the abortion? Because I feel like girls be getting pregnant and they be asking niggas for thousands of dollars for abortions. I'm like, how much is this shit really? Okay, so I mean, I need a, stress So money. I'm RH wow. negative. I'm <laughs> RH negative. So I have a rare blood type. So my abortion always is going to cost more than a regular How much? One. <laughs> we need Somebody a number. We need a price like, tag. I want to know. Yeah. How much was it really? Yeah. Because <laughs> cause he nah, probably but, but hold that. on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because I'm going to be real with y'all. There are ways to get free abortions. Like if you have health insurance, there are places that will do it for free. However, you know, Sometimes you're paying for the comfort. So depending on if you want to be put to sleep when you get it, that mm -hmm. costs more. Anesthesia. Mm. Um, and then what if like I need a ride home? Yeah. Add yeah, that to it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, after, no. this afterwards. This sounds like this sounds like the like end of year, beginning of the year taxes when you gotta add everything. <laughs> like, all right, what I'm well, I gotta think of everything that I gotta add I to get my gas money. to get here. Okay, no, right off, so you just oh getting right off. But what about what about um you know, the pain and suffering. So like, wait, so come out, so come out. So, so hypothetically, let's say abortion costs 
two thousand dollars. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't even cost a thousand dollars. It's like four. It doesn't even cost six hundred. All right, cool. So, so hypothetically, let's say let's yeah. say five hundred. So let's say abortion. Now, if you say, get it later, it costs more. No, yeah. let, let's say abortion. Five hundred. Let's just let's say let's say let's about, say, about let's say abortion costs five hundred. Mm-hmm. You really telling me that it's the man job to pay the entire five hundred? We both lay down. No, I would think I sex? think we need to go half. Right, but <laughs> but but guess what? Because you don't have to sit so up on this operating baby? table. Nah. Yeah, that's <laughs> who don't want the baby. Wait, no, but listen, if, if you, you but hold on. You tell you don't want the baby, you paying for it. Hold on, so wait, because hold you up. But even it. even with even with that being said, you don't have to get the baby sucked out of your vagina. Right. So yeah, right. you should pay all of it. Because yeah. if you get where it's not even until you yeah. get up on this operating table, right. and that shit hurts for you too. So right. yeah, you should pay all of it. Because I took a bigger risk by having unprotected sex. Yeah, because sex with people you. die through abortion. So, and there, yeah, the, sorry. <laughs> the reason why the, the, this is even a discussion is because somebody had posted their pay stub on Twitter, and basically they were making well before eight dollars and fifty cents an hour or something. Eight dollars and fifty cents an hour, and they Where were showing they how much they were slavery? getting. Slavery. <laughs> I don't know. Because that's not even minimum, minimum wage. wage. I mean, some places it is. But like they're half. getting child support yeah. taken off, and it was like a lot. So they, when it was said and done, they got like, their check was like $100 after child support and everything. And people on Twitter were like, that's, why are you posting this? Like, whose responsibility is it? Because he was like, you see how they be doing me. How do they like, do you? You should have thought you have about that you when should, you laid down. How do you think your child feels? Like, how raw. they're doing you? Nigga, look how you're doing me. Right. But even <laughs> before that, they were like, why are you laying raw with somebody? I mean, having sex with somebody unprotected. When you're making eight dollars and fifty cents, I'll tell you Hence why. The I'll tell you why. Cap. I'll tell you why because people, but mostly men, don't even consider the responsibility that it's going to come with. They know they're going to neglect it anyway. All right, you know, I mean, damn, that's fucked up. I mean, it's true. I was about to go into history. something else. You know what I was going to say? Y'all glasses empty. What's going on with y'all? Uh, anyway, what I was saying, it, um, I can't because if I pass it to you, then my, it's my a, it's a, it's covers a, it's are going to be a, on live TV. I hope I said it mm-hmm. right. It's a social construct, right? Uh huh. And it's sad that it's happened, but a lot of people who are struggling are going to make that decision anyway because they don't know any better. No, they, they know better. I, well, it's not. What about they, the people who do it four or five times? Yeah, it's not that they don't know any better. It's just I don't know. It's, some somehow it's like people in poverty put themselves at risk Boom. to to hurt themselves in the future. More not than necessarily others. too, because when you have yeah, they, money, when you have do. something to lose, do. you're not doing it. When you got something to lose, you're not doing it. Nah, but, nah, nah. People so, who got something to lose doing it too, because I, okay. look at all these men who say, "Oh my God, like future." Yeah. Oh, you try to get me for my money. That's why she trapped me. Then you went and got trapped. You trapped yourself seven yeah. more times. So goddamn. It's interesting that you brought that up because I remember I was watching a documentary about families in Haiti, like poor families in Haiti, but like children, they have like 14, 15 children. But condoms only like what five dollars. Yeah, so but the reasoning why they had that many children I don't know how much condoms is cost. because they I saw. I've never purchased them. <laughs> I don't buy like, condoms. Yeah, I've never purchased a condom myself. I, you better have it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, never had a, a dude take out a box. No, no, ever. Have you I'm ever told? You, have you ever told someone I'm to prepared. go buy? Yeah, condoms? yeah. I was gonna say I have. Yo, definitely. stop past the store get a condom. Yeah, I've definitely. If a nigga told me to go nah. get a condom, I would be like, well, then you didn't come yeah. prepared to yeah. fuck tonight. Yeah. No, no. You should have been prepared already. Wait, what? Yeah. Time out. What? Ch- 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 <laughs> By the time we go time get out. the condom, I guess. Let me see. This is gonna be a lie too. Never, <laughs> swear to God. Wait, never tell me get on condoms. You ain't got them. Anyway, like I was about to say, or you had them. I like might I tell a nigga go, exactly. with, go get a condom, say. but I'm not going to buy it myself. You, I literally would never. I, yeah, like, I would I never said, be able to tell I you how much a condom went, costs. Exactly. No nigga ever sent me to go get no fucking condoms ever. Huh? What you talking so about? y'all never had condoms in y'all purse to be prepared anyway? No. And if you don't have it, you ain't fucking. No, I have had <laughs> cap. some condoms on me, but that's because it's like, all right, you got these it from are... another, another nigga, huh? You had hmm. it from the other nigga? No, 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 no. You ain't got it yourself. So no, you had no, I'm say, no, I'm saying no. I'm I'm talking about fucking the same person, but like yeah, from last time when we had sex, we still have one left over. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I have mm-hmm. it with me. Yeah. So we're gonna do it again, but I have it with me next time. But the same person, yeah. not oh, uh, the you last nigga I was it. fucking left Condom his condoms over. So, so look what I got, baby. Right. Jay, Condom stop trying to dry play as with a me. Bitch. No. Dry as Connie. I had sex in a month. You still got that same. Oh no, no, no. This was this was this was a. We were fucking on a regular basis. We just didn't want to get pregnant again because we already had a kid. Mm-hmm. Okay. So All my right. baby daddy. So mm-hmm. I'm that's like, fair. no, you're not you fucking me wrong. It. My baby yeah, daddy. Yeah, you're right. Because like that's the it, only that's the only <laughs> thing getting it like that, honey. But I will tell you this: after hey, a while, we weren't fucking with condoms anymore. Hey, Jess, and I knew a... the risk because I'm like, nigga, you weren't even here to raise the first one. I and mean, here I am again. Yeah, Yo, you talk. Wrong. You talk. You talk. You talk a lot about your, your baby father, and I, he's locked up. Have I, you? Ever, I'm just curious. Have you ever had a, like a con- conjugal? Con- 
No, you can't have those in Maryland. Those are only like in New York. I'm not saying because I always see them in like in yeah. movies and shit. So I'm nah, curious. Yeah, like, have you ever did that? Those like, are kept. That? First of all, I'm banned from every prison in Maryland, so I could never see him anyway. I'm indefinitely banned from every wow. prison. Because you're you're a savage. Like you're, you're the fucking... definition of a savage. No, because the guard disrespected me on Martin Luther King Day, and I'm not letting <laughs> oh, that shit go. And she was being racist, and That's I had a... my daughter with me, and I was like, "Bitch, just up." Great segue. Okay. Great segue. Because you ain't let it go. That's that hurt shit. That bitter shit again. Question. I'm not letting that go. Right, question. <laughs> I can't even see my daughter's father because of this bitch. That makes sense. Gucci and Jeezy. Mm -hmm. First of all. Before yeah. we get into before we get into the conversation that oh, no, wait, before we do it, wait, what's your salary cap on raw sex? Everybody gotta have a number. So wait, who has to have the salary? Is it the girl or the guy? Both. Both. Hmm. Do they? Yes, both. Both of them. For I already guy? told you. I, I already told you. I got a soft spot for. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Jay is like Jay is like. You just gotta be clean, baby. <laughs> you, you just gotta make fifteen an hour or more. <laughs> no, Jay is like you in between jobs. <laughs> I get it, baby. You just gotta have ambition. That's the cap. The cap is ambition. Hey, <laughs> like, yo. Yeah. As long as you have a millionaire mind, the, <laughs> the cap is in the mind. Like what? It's a, it's a construct. Hey, it's like, nah. it's it's like disgusting. Disgusting. What's your salary cap? Because when I met you, I ain't have no motherfucking job. <laughs> you're an entrepreneur. When I met you, yeah, you're a liar. And you Stop. had money you never been your drawers, so Cut it like, out. I, I sco we scoped everything. Trust me. First of all, we seen your video. Me. First of all, we I'm like your first video of all, before we met you. First of all, if you, uh, duh. We first of all, we already knew who you were. If you didn't pay for my hook entries that night, you, you weren't might even gonna <laughs> got a and second. That's a fact. Yeah, I'm like, is he what's up? You that's know the did pay. You know the plan. Yeah, you did. You paid for a couple of us. I'm a broke nigga. Oh, I yeah. paid for that drinks and shit. We well, surely did. A and couple of us. A couple of us. Yeah, and we like that hookah. Sure, we like we like, like that we like that hookah from day one, baby. <laughs> baby, you know the vibe. I ain't gonna lie, society hookahs be, be it lit. Yeah, that be busting. Like, I know. And then she was like, she Shadi came back to the table. She said, so I was like, because I was like, I'm looking at her like, <laughs> look at this face. Like, <laughs> Tell me more. You know, Tell me. She said, Shadi said this. Yeah, I said, thank you. Yes, they they needed to know. They needed to know. Yes. Like, that's, that's we already same. knew who you were when she we get, knew before. Who you were. When she get that red hair, she be on that bullshit, bro. Because it was that red hair. <laughs> it was red when you met me. Facts. Facts. I had red hair when you met me. Yep. Facts. I'll snatch your wig right off. <laughs> I, dare, I dare you. Don't dare me. <laughs> we be fighting but this motherfucking set. That being said, you're lying. You weren't broke because you was... You was paying for the squad, and that's what matters. So honestly, I don't have. A, that's I'm a, what right, counts. Right, right, that's what fucking I'm a, I'm a, counts. This is a gang, a, he baby. Started, he started paying for the gang. Yes. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. So for me, it's not a salary cap. It's really. It's more so like time. To be honest, it's more what you time. Mike, it takes a certain amount of time for me to get to know you. Trust I'm me. laughing because that that's still cap. goes along the lines of. That still goes along the lines. I agree. It's okay. That still goes along the lines of. No, like Jay's like, oh, you gotta have some time for me, baby. You gotta put us a certain amount of time. <laughs> so how you There's know no price clean? on that? So okay. time proves somebody's clean. Y'all don't check even before that. Like, like we don't that? use the app. I thought we checked the app for the app for what? Like you, you got tested. What you mean they clean? Okay, like so, y'all don't check I mean, the app. So for on, it's an app. Come for on, that? let's talk about it. Yeah, they it's an Yo, app. Old school. I mean, I mean, still come through the mail. Yeah, I'll get papers. Like, oh no, yeah, we in the digital age. Papers, I ain't papers. I ain't get no apps. That shit might have a glitch in the system. The date, the last yeah. time. Rah, rah, rah. I'm a hypochondriac because I'd be going to get tested. I, I didn't even have sex. And I'd be like, oh, my God. I think I have something. I'm so, going to get tested. So what's time? Nothing. I didn't even have sex. I but I'm know. like, I'm just saying, I need I'm, my papers. To answer your question, <laughs> just to reassure me so I can cap. sleep at night. Cap. What's your salary cap? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. My salary cap five million. If you ain't got five million dollars, you ain't fucking me wrong. Now, I, that ain't no cap. Damn, yeah, yeah, like, you better, a, a millionaire like that. Except for him, that's why I learned. <laughs> nigga. That's why I learned. He gonna be one. It's a lot I of cap this, on this fucking, fucking nigga show that right now. Don't get why less than five million. No, I'm kidding. No, I just so, said no. Seriously, I'm not. I have not fucked a nigga with less than five million dollars since a week ago. Hell no. Less than five. 
Yeah, not less than five. You fucking right. millionaires every day. Not every day. No, I'm not even fucking fuck Jay, but I'm like saying. That. No, I, was I was about joking. to say, not she like just that. said she was celibate. No, not Alex every day. celibate. Not no, like that. I'm you saying. You really are Alex no, celibate. No, this is what I'm <laughs> saying. I'm this, saying when the last time no. you had sex with Barbara's wow. a millionaire. Wow. And remember, I, my baby father, <laughs> hey, remember my baby father, nigga, go get, yeah, go get the condoms because we said raw sex. So, no, I'm not fucking a nigga with less than five million dollars having raw sex. And I say that not because I think I'm going to get some child support check because it ain't really going to be much. Than right. what I'm making now, if for something like that, it's so what's like your salary, babe? But hold up, about to skip listen. This this the reason why I say that five million number mm -hmm. is because, like I said, that's like insurance. So I know where I want to go in life, right? So projection, hopefully, I at least touch five million. And honestly, to be honest, I mean, shit, Magic Johnson, Magic Johnson was a millionaire, and if you, if besides the kid, if you catch something else, you probably could get rid of it for five million dollars. We seen it happen with Magic Johnson. Now those chances I'm not willing to take. <laughs> you can have I'll rather fucking nigga with five. What you six mean it's a chance you not want? You taking a I mean, chance said, regardless. Yeah, regardless. We can't ignore that. I mean, we having this conversation. I mean, not to bring the seriousness in it's joking, but I mean honestly, you said five million dollars. We seen it happen. Yeah, we have. But I'm that that ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> I ain't fucking no nigga with no HIV. You wouldn't never mind. Nope, not for Shout a billion. Like, what's your cap what's your <laughs> So I'm gonna spend the money when I'm dead. <laughs> so here's the thing. I don't have. I can't tell you the number, but I will tell you. You better. Ha you will have something. Like I don't fuck no broke niggas. That's just not something I ever. Did. I was broke. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. Rich no, you is weren't. a mindset. All right. Um. No, you weren't. Okay. He's always lying. Saying he's, he's lying. Time. He's lying. I thought we was here. We said Gucci and G. Okay. Gucci and G. How do we get back? Because I wanted to know what everybody's Sally number was. Okay. Wait, how Alex didn't say his. Uh, I don't really have a solid crap, really. I, I'm, I'm with you These on the time. Like broke nah, no, because we've been real. I just nah, it's just the time. Like, it's we just been real. I, the the thing I is, said, the no, time. but I'm being honest. Like, no, nigga, me, I've never just dealt with no broke nigga. For me, it's Any not nigga that. I dealt with could do something for me, period. It's more so yeah, something, it's like... Something. You could do something for something. me. You ain't out here. Ain't no... But first of all, I ain't never fucking for free now. <laughs> and I don't mean it like you're giving... I'm not a prostitute, but what I mean by that is you cannot be fucking on me and can't do shit for me. I've fair, never, fair. That's a fact. That I've like that never in my life fucked on no niggas that couldn't do a damn thing That's for a fact. me. Yeah, ever. whether so, you gonna go kill a nigga for me or something, you gotta do something. gotta be something violent. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. <now. laughs> I, 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 I evolved, I like, evolved. Wait, 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 wait. About to have a therapy Edit that out, I evolved, you're right. So honestly, sorry. who do y'all think won out of Gucci, man, and G? Gucci. 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 Go ahead. Shit. Not because you agree. We, I don't. All right, Jay. So, Jay. In the moment, <laughs> in the moment, in the moment, I was joking. Let and me I'm drink. In the moment. Be irritated. Yes. Gucci Man, first of all, I got to be this guy. I'm sorry. I'm You're sorry, y'all. Go the, the audience is going to hate me. He's a G. First of all, no, first of all, we won. The culture one. Okay. In a serious, shut the fuck up. In a serious, not real niggas. Shut the fuck up. Real niggas. In a serious, shut the fuck up. In a serious, in a serious manner though. Or, are you? The verses is about music. Jeezy won the musical verses. Stop. No, he didn't. Debatable. Debatable. Stop. You don't because even know half of the songs Gucci debatable. played. Yes, I Nigga, did. I know it was hitting harder than Jeezy's. I know all of Jeezy's. Look, I know all of Jeezy's, but guess what? After he got. Hold out on stage. I couldn't even. It, I didn't feel the same about the music. So let's have that conversation. That's we a part of the art. And I feel like that's when it comes to like black people don't normalize healing. Like he wasn't getting hold okay, out. Okay, Jay, he I'll was give you healed. the no. Jay, I'll give you the perfect Jesus example. Healed. Healed, he healed from what he did. He didn't. He didn't have nothing to heal healed from. from. Nobody did nothing. He to didn't him. have to murder a so, man. So he didn't have to duck some niggas put money on his head. He didn't have to go to prison. What are you talking about? First of all, let's let's shout out. Let's let's not do this. We want shout out Gucci. But taking the battle. I'm a motherfucking nigga. But taking the battle. Carrying However, himself like a man. I wouldn't say he carried himself like a man on the what? verses. I, I wouldn't say crazy. that, honestly. Jay, you're on. I you're, do not what are you, what's I don't think hookah? so. Jay's I would say. Right now, we're not a unit on this. So, y'all telling, telling me if Jeezy would have matched Gucci's energy. I'm not saying that Jeezy didn't throw no shots because he did. It was clear. However, if Jeezy would have matched Gucci energy, do you think it would have ended positive like that. And that's what it was about. It was about positivity. It was about coming together. What? Do y'all honestly think if Jeezy would have matched Gucci energy, it would have ended in a, in a positive? What did Gucci do, do so you, wrong? Do you, hold I'm on, hold on, stop. You said we smoking stop. on Pookie. Hold on. So is his song, trying to kill him. your brother. I mean, your friend. Okay, like, hold on, Jay. Jay. Old, Jay. But Jay. The song is what's currently playing right now. S hold on, Jay. What's hold the up. Time out. Because if Gucci would have matched Jeezy's energy, 
Would them niggas even be up there alive right now? Wait, I'm, I'm talking about right now. I'm not talking I about I am too. Me too. Right so now. if Gucci would have matched Jeezy's energy and had some niggas try to kill him because he knew where he would be at that night, would they even be there? Gucci, his energy was the right energy because so we it, can't, we right can't. now, no, because Gucci's coming from the defense. So it's like, all right, Gucci honestly is matching Jeezy's energy. If Gucci would have matched Jeezy's energy, niggas would have gotten shot that night because you tried to kill me. Only way I can match that energy is to try to get somebody to kill you or do it myself. But if we're talking about on the versus battle, I think that he definitely did not match Jeezy's energy because the only way sport. he can match Jeezy's energy it. is if he tries to get him killed. I think he did it. I think he came for the sport. I still, everybody's trying to act like Gucci did something so wrong. Gucci played what his music. Again. What did he do? He played that his the, music. That stemmed stem from a situation that, not, in the that Jeezy Nothing started. It's not, it's not about the music. What it's did about, he do? It's about the commentary after the music. He said, he told, he told his man, send some more my way and I'm going to send him. I a, feel like he... You right. I feel like he was saying it in the music too. He did. It was no different. And like, what about what hold do? up? What about Jeezy's passive aggressiveness? We're, we're just gonna ignore that. I don't think even it was passive the stop because the real estate uh, comment was not to say Gucci oh, came yeah. out and said I have ten thousand dollars worth of gold. But yeah, why? because but he why? put that hit but on why? his head. Because ten thousand. My chains originally anyway. ten thousand. That's why I had to remind you. I'm still saying. But hold on. Not only on, that. Nigga. See, not only that. What are we this talking is, about? Now hold up. See, here's my thing. People are saying, oh yeah, you know. It was a positive thing that 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 Jeezy was saying for the real estate. I disagree. I think that when he said it, he was saying it to undermine Gucci's right. success. Exactly. And I also think exactly. and I also think that he was saying other things like, uh, well, I guess you need some classic shit then. Right. Like that's, that's shade. Gucci was like, I need some. Right. Nah, so how about some gangster, gangster shit? shit? And the first, and the first thing I said, the first thing I said was, I'm not going to say Jeezy wasn't on his shit as well. It was. However, that's what they both he wasn't was on. on shit. I don't think. He was matching Gucci energy. I don't think I feel Gucci like did when, much. When, when Gucci said, I have $10,000 of clothes on, yeah. is, a nigga, is a nigga ego wanting to say, you know what? Well, bet. You got $10,000 of clothes on. Fuck them clothes. I got I own half nah, of them. I feel like but he's, he's lying too. He, has, he he's just said that to he make has, him feel right, smaller. Was like, I have a $10,000. Because that's what he said, what he said to make him feel smaller. I, I, no, I, he I, said I, facts though. Gucci might have said that he owns real estate. Fuck, but fuck he doesn't now. own half right, of Atlanta. Right, right, He's hold a liar. That's like, so, so no, so Gucci didn't say, "Yeah, I got a hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry." He said ten thousand. So hold up, because that's what the hit, that's what that's it was. How much the so, hit was on. So, so hold that's up. why he said it. So, so what I'm saying is, again, first of all, we're reading shit on the internet. We don't know why he said that. One, two, but even I, even so even two, that being said, he didn't hype up the price. Fair. So what I'm saying is, again, <laughs> geez, Gucci says something, and we look. Let's look at our culture, and again, like. Y'all not about to sit up here and have this conversation with me when we not when we don't when we talk about um generational wealth when we talk about owning business when we talk about owning land so when you say when a man says yo I got ten thousand dollars worth of clothes on a nigga say nigga that's it. you still that. young man I, I don't condone nah I don't condone nobody killing anybody battle. either we're in a rap battle but right? I'm not on here we're also in a rap saying battle, kill right? Excuse somebody me. we're in a rap battle right. Both of their songs is guns, drugs, violence. Yeah. Now, okay, now to undermine something, now you want to bring up, well, to me, that's a trendy thing to say. You're being trendy. Right, you're, so not being, you're not being 100 with it. You're him being trendy. Him saying he got $10,000 of her clothes on his hands. That's what they're talking about in their songs anyway. How much money they got, how many cars they drive, the drugs, the money, the violence. Right, so, He's keeping the cool. same so let me ask energy. Question. Let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. I feel like that was just right, fair. So let me ask trendy a, to let say. Me ask it wasn't qu- like, oh, I'm trying to be here for the black right, culture. So, no, He's trying to Black Lives Matter. He's trying to. Try to Black Lives Matter his yeah, way out of some shit, nigga. That. You try to I take a Black that. life, so how are you? Right. Black Lives what are we Matter. Talking so let me ask, about? What are we talking about, about right now? I mean, I'm talking about right there in that moment, not in the past. Right there in that moment. This, right. This, let me ask you. Let me right. ask you this. Let me ask you the question. What's the bigger flex? Ten thousand dollars worth of clothes or real estate? Real estate. First I mean, of all, estate. first of all, hold up. Time first out. All, time what out. Are we time out. Talking about like time Gucci out. don't have real estate, Stop. bro. Are we first crazy? of all, Jeezy? You think know. Gucci don't own Actually, nothing? I mean, like, I, I go, honestly, no, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. You know what's more? What's what's bigger to me is the character and the integrity. I'd rather a nigga with ten thousand dollars worth of jewelry on say, yeah, nigga, I got ten thousand dollars worth of jewelry on, than a nigga say I own half of Atlanta and you don't. So Period. now you're a liar. Period. So I don't care what you said. Period. You're a liar. Period. You have no integrity. Period. Period. So y'all think Gucci Man won because No, his... I think Gucci Man won because I think his music slapped harder. I think it was more it was more truthful. I think that he came prepared to do a battle. That's like saying Jay-Z versus DMX. Of course I think Jay-Z's music is better than DMX's, but DMX ate him in that battle. But this is a battle. Though, but the the This again, is a battle. The cat the, the verses is about music. When it comes to the music, 
Jeezy's music was way better than his, not in a I battle. Pers- it wasn't in a battle. Is, I don't I'm, think it wasn't a battle. Just like when name. everybody said Two Chains versus I, Rick Ross, they felt like Rick Ross. I said my opinion was that Two Chains music got me more hype. But that's why I said in it's the battle base because I feel like yeah, Jeezy had hits, and I'm not gonna take that away from him. However, it depends on what fan you are because some people who do know uh, Gucci's catalog, whether they feel like he played his best or he doesn't, that still can slap harder to them. To them, that's why I, I ain't said, gonna hold you. When I was, that's in, why it's not actually scored. When I was because in eighth who are, grade, who can just say Jeezy won or Gucci won. That's really listen. When I was in eighth grade, I was definitely in them concerts talking about some 103. But as a 29 year old, I was like 103. That shit sounds corny. Right. All right. So okay. Whatever. Nah, it's true. So we can't, and so, then Gucci played new music, and I'm like, I like that because it's relevant to me now. So let's have the conversation of like y'all say that Jeezy was being passive aggressive. Absolutely. I don't, I don't think he was being passive aggressive. I feel like. He's healed from something that, that he's, he's went that he did. And he heal- again, he from? first of all, you don't, we don't know what happened, honestly. Honestly, we okay, don't know. So, then how do so why can't he just say what happened? Healed? Why Gucci how say what happened and Jeezy healed? won't? Honestly, okay. he'll heal to me. What I said, m- real maturity and growth would have been if Jeezy got up there and apologized to that man. Instead of keep trying to make him look like he's the bad guy. Exactly. He I made don't, him try to be the villain. I don't think Jeezy tried to make him look like a bad guy. I think he did. Even with the, even with the, oh, he said out his mouth. Nigga, you still on some shit from 20 years ago? I don't. Like, trying to make him look like he he, he didn't grow at all. Let me tell you something. That man's married. with a grown woman, Got a family. And we doing a battle, and they keep saying, I'm on some grown woman shit, so I'm not. You can't, he kept... I'm like, nah, from some, I'm on some grown man time, No, bro. he specifically, so no, he specifically like, said, he no, he specifically it. said he, he was tripping off some it. shit from 20 years like, ago. He ain't, he not saying like we, bro. He's like, I'm on some grown man, like from a grown man time. I'm like, bro, you're undermining me he's, right then He's there. painting the narrative to the people that Gucci man is ignorant and that he's not over some shit that happened when they were younger. But he's not telling the whole narrative of to, as to where what he did to Gucci is something that is unforgivable. And I was going to add to that. That was the one part that kind of really stuck out to me was like during that speech and that monologue, I felt like it was an opportunity for him to, to apologize. Really tie into and that would, I, and I would that agree part with. would, I would, would say like, all right, if you're going to go about King Von and say, this is bigger, explain more. Why right. into it? Because right. the apologize. culture just like, this is about King Von. Like, cause the people that are out there now, this was 15, 20 years. Like King Von, Rondo Rondo was 21. First so at all, that time, he was sick. Alex, there so, were 2 million people watching. That was your valid. perfect time to so apologize to that So that's the one time that, that I felt like, all right, if you really wanted to go that route, and it could have been private, right. but the beef was public. You know what right. I mean? So if the beef is public, and we know the beef is public, and this is something that you wanted to do. I mean, I, performing Icy at the end was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Because it never been done. But I feel like you have to be intentional in what you're doing exactly. and what you're saying in that capacity. So, and, As and, a man, if you're going to take that route, don't. If you're going to do it, do it all the way. Don't right. step in and out because there were subtle shades. You know, yeah, like as a real estate, it was a subtle, it was a subtle flex. But at the end of the day, it's like, if you're going to subtly flex, like don't, but it's not don't a, try to play the, think, it's not about being a subtle flex. It's about, I'm defending myself at the point. If Gucci would have never said $10,000 worth of clothes, I don't have to say but real estate. If you so, really on grown man time, let's talk about it. If we really on grown man time, you wouldn't even pay no attention. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Again, now we can't ignore the sport though. And if oh, you're so saying now you it's all now it's a sport, no, but I'm I feel like in a battle, ignore, I'm saying we can't ignore the sport. So like y'all, y'all, flexing right, is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Flexing is the time sport in rapping. It's the sport. Come on, come on, y'all are huge Drake fans. Yes, yes. but y'all ain't come here and cap when 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 uh when uh what the fuck is his name? Pusha Clip Pusha T says something about uh for uh forty. And his his his, his uh, medical disorder and Drake ain't respond. It was under there was so much understanding, but I'm now wait, wait, all of a sudden whoa, no, whoa, because whoa, what happened? Whoa, no, no. We're talking about battling. Battling is no cut cards. If you watch URL, ba- and battling is no cut cards. Hold so on, hold on. Time, time, time out. Wait, 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 Jay. Hold on, time out. Because I mean, it is a timeout. no, because listen, because, it's different now. because no, because I, I know people different. close to the situation. We can't. I, I do. You, you know that. So how can we take away from the fact that? My man was involved in a physical altercation with people that Drake sent. So he did not do anything about it. What are you talking about? Drake didn't respond in a battle? He responded in real life. Okay, well, that's I don't a, know. I don't think... That's a I didn't problem. know about that. And Wait, a lot even, of the even people... Even when you say, like, it's all a part of the game. I mean, you can... No, no, because guess what? He did it I'm at a concert. At Pusha T's T concert. So you can look it up. Because I remember, because I was taking Janiya to the concert when Pusha T came here because my friend was coming to town. The concert before that, I was hesitant to take my daughter because niggas ran on stage. So, no, something did happen. And, and, and if we're talking about maturity, 
if Gucci really wanted to do something, if Drake is sending niggas, you think Gucci not gonna send no niggas? Right. And what I will say is, I'm giving Gucci res- the respect of taking it. Give that man his flowers. No, wait. Bro. I'm giving him his flowers. And I said that from the beginning for even taking a battle because somebody trying to take your life is something that you probably would never get over. And, Ever. And if you watch the interview with uh, 50 Cent on a Breakfast Club, he's like, I'm never gonna do a versus with Ja Rule. So I get it. And I'm giving him his respect for even doing it. However, I'm not about to ignore the things he was saying on stage that he didn't have to say. I personally I feel, agree. I feel I, like I, he I, did I, have I, to I, say. I, I, I give him that. What I feel like, I feel like me personally, I, I feel like it that. was the sport. I feel like this is what we talking about. That's what I was talking about then in my songs. That's what I'm but talking about on the battle. Were no, but you know, you know what? You know what, Jay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. They were still on stage. The verses wasn't over. You feel like hold it was on. showmanship? It wasn't over. Hold up. After Icy, he Wait. didn't say it after hold up. they played but, so but, icy. but Jay, it was still a part of the battle. Hold on. When the verses ended, and Jeezy tried to stop the music. You said it's about the music. He tried to stop the music and basically put that man on, like on on the spot in front of 2 million people and, and viewers and say like, basically like, it's just me and you and you in this room. No, it's not. This is versus this is entertainment. Gucci didn't even respond to that man. He looked at him and didn't say no, nothing. And that, when it was over. As far as saying, let's do the So Icy song. Let's, let's, let's did everything. Let's do this. And if right. you want, we and, can just, it can no, be but, one and done. No, when he said that let's in all this, Gucci didn't even respond to the man because he was there to perform the music and to do the battle. Once the battle ended, Gucci literally left. Exactly. There was nothing. No, nothing. There was no camaraderie. Even when I mean, wait, 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 wait. Because it was entertainment. He said, he said, yo, I appreciate you for even extending the olive branch. He, he said he that. Did. That so was, like, no, that but, was but, his, that was his, 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 no, not even acknowledgement, but that was his exit off of the stage, which was mature as well. But what I'm saying to you is that when it was all over, Gucci wasn't, that's my point. Like, he wasn't like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. I'm right. out. And that's he was right. like, no, you know what? Thanks for the rest of it's entertainment. Y'all Thank you for I'm extending saying, the olive branch. I'm out. And that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm giving Gucci man his, his roses for one. Even for him to even say, yo, I appreciate you for extending the olive branch shows a lot of his growth. I'm not, I'm not saying none of that. But you However, also say he wasn't healed. Yes. Yeah. That's what, I, yeah. And I'm, yeah. I so, and I feel like, again, but he only capped but during again, the battle. Again, that was part again, of the, the entertainment. And that's what I'm saying. I've been saying this for weeks now. Two things can coexist in the same room. Yeah. You can grow in one aspect and still not grow in another aspect. Yeah. A nigga right. try to get you killed. Yeah. He might not be healed from that. And I feel like that's understandable. I'm not saying that he's wrong for that. However, I'm saying if it was me, like if I'm going to take this, well, I, I'm not even going to say that because ain't nobody never tried yeah, to kill exactly. me. Exactly. Right. But what I'm saying, all I'm saying, is, all I'm saying is, I'm saying shout out to yeah, Gucci. You feel all a lot I'm different. Say, all I'm saying is, I'm saying shout out to Gucci for taking a battle. However, I don't agree with some of the words he was saying after the songs. However, that doesn't, I'm not taking away from his growth. I'm not taking away from none of that, but I'm saying that I don't think he was fully healed from a nigga trying to kill him, and I feel like that's understandable. So when y'all fighting me on it, I just I'm feel like you. you saying However, I don't he, you saying that he is healed. Like I'm, no, he's no, not healed. Hold on, wait. I didn't say it's that he's healed. I said who are you to say hold he's on, wait. not? Hold on, wait. Hold on. No, no, no. I'm wait. not gonna say healed. Hold, hold on. Hold one second because I'm also gonna say this. My biggest point: nobody's fighting you on anything. What I'm simply saying is. G- Gucci was in the sport the whole time. Whether he was saying whatever he was saying after the songs and after that, at the end of the battle, he extended thank you and he walked off. There was no extra lip. There was no nothing. So I'm still confused what people are trying to say that Gucci actually did. Hold because on. Because I think it was all a part of the sport. I'm saying what I'm saying in the songs, after the songs, through the sport. Yeah, look at my opponent. Y'all watch rap battles. Y'all see how it go. Niggas talking shit. Look at this nigga. Okay, but like, wait, let me just say this. Wait, let me say this. No, wait, let me say this about the healing. When, when Jeezy is saying- Hold on, uh, hold on. Why is it a thing? I said, you said he's being passive aggressive. Listen, hold on. Can I say something really quickly? All I want to say is this. Healing, I'm pro healing. You do not heal from everything. Now, you may adapt to- how you carry certain things, but you don't heal exactly. from everything. You do not. You do not. You do not. You do not heal from somebody trying to take your life. And That's you a permanent situation. I'm with that. And you don't have to heal in that way. You Wait a don't minute. have to forgive and forget. Not, what is all this yeah. about Gucci man's not healed? Who's you don't heal from that? I'm not you just adapt say, and you move differently. I'm not going to say that Gucci isn't healed, but I would say back to the timetable. We don't know what that timetable looks like. You know what I mean? Because he exactly. constantly. But, but the biggest thing that I he also had to take somebody's life. He and said, that, and I was going to say that he didn't that, have to take nobody's life until that. Yeah, like you turn somebody into a murderer. I don't people, know. People, we don't know what Juicy what he was doing before that. But no, but listen, people look. actually kill themselves over the thought that they took somebody else's Facts, life. It's not. Yeah, so, PTSD is real. Yeah, right. So you can't always heal from something. You may be able to adjust and adapt to it and handle it better. That's not necessarily healing from something. I don't think it is. So. 
certain yeah. things like everybody acts like oh you got to get over this like no some things you got to get over it. i'm not saying that i'm not saying that he has to get over it over i'm just saying i feel like a lot of things he was saying even if it was in the battle or not it was because he was hurt still and and i feel like that's or a fair but, statement but who's to say but jay but jay who's to say that he has to not be hurt from that ever but i'm not saying that he wasn't i'm just the, again what i said was in the battle, in the moment, I feel like he said some things because he still was hurt. And I feel like that's understandable. We can agree to that. Yeah, he should I, always be hurt from I that. Right, like, and I'm not, but I I'm never not, said I'm he not, wasn't. And I that's still think, opinion. but I still I, think, but, that but I still that's think, but I still think that hurt or not, hurt or not, I think that what he said was still not even close to what he could have done. Yeah, and I'm agreeing and, with that. I never I'm disagree saying, with I'm that. I'm not disagreeing with you. That's your opinion. My opinion is, he could have said what the fuck he wanted in his battle. Period. Yeah. Jeezy took that risk when he no agreed fair. to. So my only question so is, who, no, why? you were right. No, no, like, no, wait. And, and let's not forget that Gucci, right. it was Jeezy's wait, idea. Wait, wait, you're right. However, what I don't understand is when you say Jeezy is being passive aggressive, Jeezy's doing, I'm like, yo, wait, if Gucci can say what the fuck he want, why can't Jeezy say what the fuck I he never want? Why said it's passive aggressive? Yeah, I agree that it's passive aggressive. I didn't say he couldn't say it. That's okay. the difference. So, all right, all Verbatim, I never say he couldn't say it. It's like However, people you are ask upset. Me who I'm on, it's like, I'm on Gucci. You know what okay, it's cool. saying? You know what it Period. feels like? It's like people are upset because Gucci man doesn't want to be friends with somebody who tried to murder him. Fuck nah, that nigga. Why does Jeezy even want to be your not, friend? Like, not, nigga, I would not, never trust you. Like, what did they expect to happen? I don't understand. What did they expect? I don't think it's that nobody thinks like he wants to be his friend it's just honestly like if i had to look at it and i'm looking on screen i would want to be the guy i would want to be jeezy in that predicament Ugh. Ugh. i wouldn't Ugh. i wouldn't first I of all i would never first of all if you really never respected never if, if jeezy be really that element was, ever was being being genuine and he respected gucci he would apologize for not that, with that. that he would have no, look, look but no hold up not even just apologize he wouldn't overly try to keep on trying to make it a moment of camaraderie knowing what he did to him. But Jeezy, you don't push but, the envelope when you know what, what you I'm did to somebody. What, what you know what I'm saying? That's gotta, like me snaking you out and then continuously be in front of people be like, are we friends again? Are we friends no, let's again? Go like, back. Bitch, let's you know, go back. You, you First know. of all, time out. Time out. First know. of all, let's Why go back. Why even do that? Even during in 09, he, he hasn't been forcing this. Honestly, if you want to say anything, during a phone call with G DJ Drama, Gucci was trying to if you want to say for something, like he wanted the conversation. Jeezy didn't even know about the conversation of trying to get them to, to come together. Like even on the I heard that it was the other way around. No, on the, no, on that, the phone but... call you were here, Jeezy saying, yo, you snuck me with that one. Gucci, if anything, sounded excited. Like, yo, let's just dub this. Let's put it in the past. And this was know. in 09. I don't know, so, nothing, about, I don't know nothing about look that. Look it up. I, I heard the opposite. As of right now, until I can't look it up, I don't know nothing heard about that. I heard the opposite. That. I don't know nothing about that. What I know for this is, me Gucci as the type one, of nigga I am, yeah, Gucci I would have much down. rathered looking like Gucci on that stage than Jeezy. And period. I said it, period. I think period. Gucci, I, I think he I handled really that shit him, well. I, really I give him a lot of credit. credit I love that. the way he handled it because bitch, you'll never play with me and think and it's sweet. And guess what? I think and I love it. And I you think, still did the sport and you showed up and you did the damn thing and I'm proud of that if nigga. I'm aspiring I to, to like if that. I'm aspiring to maturity in that aspect, I got to go with Gucci because guess what? I feel like as somebody who did survive that, who did have to, was, who was forced to take somebody's life, who has been back and forth to prison, who has come from nothing, who has put other people on, fuck the real estate, look how many millionaires Gucci made. I want to be Gucci, not Jeezy. Okay, so y'all think Gucci won, I think Jeezy won. Hey, let's go to the, um, we're going to do Fresh Prince reunion. I don't know too much about that. So it's not even about that. My conversation was, and this is, I thought this was going to push the envelope because it was really the, the, you want to play the clip? Yeah, I'm gonna definitely play the clip. But it, for me, it's really well. How you how you say her name? Jan Janet, Janet Hubert. Hubert. For me, I feel like so Break it down many for the, for the people that don't. know. All right, so in this situation, um, I haven't watched the Fresh Prince reunion. However, um, one part that resonated with me and that I didn't like was um, with everybody saying that Will Smith said that Janet Hubert was difficult to work with. And she lost her career because of that. Let me take because a step. that was the death of of an African American career. Right. So basically, uh, for people that don't know who Janet Hubert is, she was the original, original Aunt Viv, yeah. Um, and she got replaced by who we know as Aunt Viv, which was uh Timmy's wife, and I can't remember. I think it's Di Daphne. Let's Reed. just keep it real. The uh, light skin Aunt Viv. Yeah, the light skin Aunt Viv was Daphne Reed. Um, so the the sp reunion special came out on HBO Match, and at the end of it. She has a candid conversation. Well, not well, not candid, but a real life conversation with Wilson, Janet Hubert yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. about how the unfallen, how, what what took place. So that that was like the context, and essentially what she was saying was that 
when she was labeled as difficult to work with for a black woman, especially a dark skinned black woman, that was kind of like a kiss of death to her career. Right. Yep. And yes. for me, I feel like when it comes to this argument of like men and women, women I'm going to continue to say this. I feel like a lot of women don't take accountability for their actions, bro. And I'm tired of like, I feel like so many times men have to come back and apologize to, or to be, to like, to, to dumb their feelings down because the woman isn't, I don't want to say strong enough. That's a terrible word because black women are definitely strong. But I just feel like in, in moments, like men have to come back to apologize for something that was true. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong with it? Like, if you were difficult, you okay, were difficult but to hold work on. with. But difficult. And he wasn't the only one saying that. But wait, they said the same thing about Monique. But when the dust settled, was she being difficult? Or were they asking things of her that they were not asking everybody what? else? But That's guess, not fair either. No, it, no, you know what it is? You know why it is fair? Because it's business. And, I, and, 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 and Janet Hubert, at the time, even though it's, under, it's, it's understandable, business is business. You know how many times somebody dies in your family, you still got to go to work? You know how many times you might be on your period and, and have cramps, you still got to work? Hold yes. up. Yes. But hold up. Hold but why up. do Let me, I have to do it, but she no, don't? No, no, no. Hear what I'm saying. In that moment, when she was being difficult, it's understandable why, but at the end of the day, you still were being difficult. She had an abusive husband. She had, she was, I think she was um, pregnant seven, or seven months pregnant. She, or she was like seven that. months pregnant. So given all the emotions that was going on, I definitely understand it. However, that if anything, that makes me understand more why you are being difficult. Why not just say, instead of saying that was the kiss of death to my career. No, I understand. But that. it was though. But this but is what you I, were the kiss okay. of death to your career but because what, what, what I was going say. on with you. Even in business, I think that people try to fall on business and use that as a crutch of taking out the humanitarian aspect of it. Because at the end of the day, in business or not, I think some type of criticism can also still be sent out of a positive, a positive, cr criti positive critiquing, right? If you are really looking out for me and you really do think I'm being difficult, instead of making this a thing instead and making of blackballing it like, me, exactly, why don't you just hold on, hold on? It is why why don't you just come to me and we could talk about it versus this being a thing? Now it is the kiss, the, it is the kiss of death to my career because instead of working on it and somebody lovingly coming to me in business or not, humanitarian. Just being a human. That's not how business work. A, either way, yeah, but yeah, yeah. that's why I said that's a crutch because business can work like that. It can, but people, it doesn't. People choose not to let we business work that. We don't care like how you feel. That's fine. But exactly, and that's a lot of the problem. Why jobs, people do leave jobs. Why these things happen? Because people don't care. And maybe and if people did care more, it would bridge the gap facts. to that. And that's right. not right. Dang. We have to stop. Hold on. We have to stop looking at that as a crutch. Like, it's business. Nobody cares. At the end of the day, if Will just said it to her, like, look, I want to work with you. You're being difficult. Can we work this out? Because I can't work with you like this. Well, what like, about the fact that why not, are they like, talking about it right now if it don't matter? So, no, I'm not saying that. So if he so, couldn't do it, if he could do it now, then he could have so, did because, it. So, that, so wait, I agree. No, no, we, Period. We, we can't we can't not acknowledge the fact that Will Smith was young and he probably did some things the wrong way as well. However, right. what I'm saying is I can look again. I'm on the same stance. Two things can coexist. Don't tell me that. I was like saying that you were negative was the kiss of death to your career. No, because one, you had you had work after um 1990, whatever. You had work in 2000. Who was she on after Fresh Prince? Shit, you want to pull it up? Yes, she had, please. What's her name? Um, Janet. Because uh, I didn't see her in shit. That's your, that's your fault. I mean, that ain't our fault. What's her name? Janet but Hubert. That, but that's, How you spell that's, her last name? Hubert. Hey, you, oh, hold up, hold up. I'm going to put movies. One second. You asked a great sure question. Make sure that's the right year. Make yeah, sure no, I'm because Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was like 1992, 1993. All right, now watch this. Janet Hubert movies. Um. 30 Years to Life, 2001, No Letting Go, 2015. No, but you said- it's, That's like say, nine years later. Like, all right, wait, just like you said, but look, just like you said- you That's a long time no, to not be working. Wait, 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 just like you said, just like you said, integrity, right? Jeezy didn't own half of Atlanta. I'm saying the same thing, I'm on the same thing. You said it was a kiss of death to your career. No, you were the kiss of death to your career because you might've been hard to work with. So hold up, let's go to this, right? Monique, you brought up a great point. Yep. Me personally, I feel like it's two types of people and I'll play the clip. I'm going to play a clip of, 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 of Oprah. And I thought this was so dope because you got two type people in this world. <clears throat> and I'm never going to say one is better than the other, but we got, it's, it's proof in the pudding. That's all I'm going to say. You have somebody that, that feel like they, they've, done, they've done wrong and they feel like they got to get their point across. They might be feeling like they're entitled. They feel like you're not going to do me like that. And then you have other people who are going to take it on the chin and they're going to make like their work talk for them. So I'm, 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 I'm Hold on, but Jay, talk? wait a minute. Hold yeah, on, yeah, Jay. Yeah. Hold on. That's a contradiction because how can I let my work talk for me when I can't get no fucking work now? And, and, and also, I just want to say... How? 
because I, Monique because Monique was down so, to work after that. No, she couldn't get but, no, no work. So what, you got to look look at what Monique did, right? And I'm again, I'm pro, listen. You can go to it, interviews where you could go to shit when I've been on the side of Monique. So that's not I've been on the side of Monique. Hold up. What I will say is we can't ignore the fact that Monique did it differently than people we see. Like our, our stars. I said this about Nicki Minaj. Our stars, right? Let's say Beyonce and Nicki Minaj. Beyonce then been humiliated in, in in the public eye. She's been cheated on. She's been um. Her, her, her sister's been in situations that's with her all husband. personal now, hold up no all this is personal so but when have we ever seen beyonce come out and say anything about it we haven't hold and on beyonce career compared to no because that's not what happened with monique that's not even what happened they wanted her to do something in business that they were not asking of other people to do and right. she didn't think it was fair just like colin kaepernick you you support what he did right you support colin kaepernick right it's the same thing until somebody does it Everybody, of course, is going to be like, oh, well, just go with it. No, I'm not standing for that. You can stand for that. You can stand for that. But what I'm and not standing no, for. No, I, 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 I would and, say. And, go ahead, bro. Only reason why I say. What, what situation are you? Can you clarify on the yeah, Monique Well, everybody knows that about? when Monique got Netflix. that Oscar for. Not even. No. Wait, right, before that. Is. Yeah, this is okay. how we led up to this. That too, though. When Monique got that Oscar for Precious, they wanted her to do a certain a, type a tour. of. A certain type of tour that they Promotion. don't ask of anybody else. Right. So why do I have to do it? Fair. Now, guess what? Guess what? when I'm talking business and I'm going to play the clip, right? When I'm talking business, right? So I look at Monique and I look at Oprah, right? So we can't even compare them because of what I'm about to say. That's my opinion. Yeah, they don't ask other people to do that, right? But this ain't the first time they did it. In 1980, Oprah had a job in Baltimore and, 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 and her, her husband, her, her co-host was making more than her. And guess what? It's not fair. Matter of fact, let me play the clip. Play yeah, the it's clip. not fair, so I'm not doing it, right? No, so that's what happened. Right, let me play the clip. I'm gonna play, yeah. play the clip. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm out of play. And while we're waiting, I just want to say, like, you I don't think this is a man versus woman, woman thing. No, no, no I think it's a fair versus unfair thing. I think it's. I just think it's. It's just like how he wants to play different type of people. But I also feel like with saying different type of people that you do have to understand that some people do shut down when these things do happen. Yes. Regardless if you want, whether it's temporary or not, it doesn't mean that that's not her truth. That did that, that did not affect and, her in and that you, way. And, and that's you not also true. have to take into account that some people's word it holds more, more weight. weight. It holds, it holds more so, weight. So what I'm saying, when I say man versus woman, I think I, I'm just so sick and tired of men having to come back to apologize for something that was true in the beginning and and not even just that and i feel like so many women don't take accountability for what they've done like again her I, like me i don't like her saying you know when you say that i'm a i'm i'm difficult to work with that's the kiss of death to a black woman's career how about you were really difficult to work with for me i would if okay I, but how about to who much is no, given no, hold on but how about to who much is given much is tested will you knew that your word went more but, so why would you take this I work from really this black woman again, but it's not even, i really don't think it's man versus women i just think it's whoever's in power see will just happen to be the person in yes. power and that's why it happened that way but if it was a woman i think it still would have sent with the same way yeah. but it's just that he was in power so i don't like the term of it black men have men having to come back and apologize i just think it's people of power feeling like they have to come back and apologize and if that's how you feel that's fine but i don't think it's a man versus woman but i also think that if you are coming back to apologize there's some guilt there and and also i also think that at that time more men were in power and no what i'm saying is still still to this day my personal opinion and my forget everything else in my personal opinion i've been in situations multiple times where i'm trying to alter the way i talk because it's a woman in the room i'm trying to even even if even that's on you no but i I get, this is showing my, this is my point. It's like, you're not even acknowledging that sometimes you even said this earlier. You said women are more emotional. I didn't say that. You said this earlier. So sometimes when a man is speaking or when I'm, when it's business, you don't, even in our situation, you're not acknowledging as business because I'm your boyfriend. You're not acknowledging it as business because I'm your friend. That's like, so false. That's, uh, so this what about what, what we say. have to not do in that's front of y'all? But, but I'm not it, talking about that, right? But that might be true, though. That might, I'm not there, though. I'm not on that. But you might be true. I agree that men do have to alter their, alter their tone when women are in the room or how they speak. And However, excuse me, but there's so many double standards that we have to deal with all the time. That's a double standard. But you might be right. We are. But I'm not on that right now. But if that's the 
point about so men having that, to that's do why that. I don't understand it. So what is your that's point? The point as the whole, then we have to address the whole. Like, if you have a problem with that, bro, you know how many double standards. If you agree in double standards, then take that double standard. So too. wait, so that's so, all I'm so saying. What I'm if you right. deal with, if you take, I want to know what take that double standard. Take that too. So so even in this conversation, right? I think last week I came and I said, you know what? Women don't get a fair share. They, like they don't, they don't get treated fairly, right? right? When it comes to men being um uh faithful, when it comes to men treating them right, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like we was all in an agreement and yeah, yeah, yeah. But now the moment I'm saying I feel like women don't do this is an argument. So no, you're not saying what? what women don't do. You're saying, saying what I men have it, to do. I, I said, and I'm saying to you that women, a lot of times, why do you get a brownie in, in for business, that? We got to do a lot of stuff not, too in business to make y'all feel comfortable. Facts. We have to do a lot in general. A lot. To make right. Men feel right. comfortable. But even a like, lot. like I said, again, last week when I said, yo, shout out to the women. Women don't get their fair share. Men aren't as faithful. Men aren't doing this. I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm on the side of a woman at that moment, right? But now when I'm saying in business, it's things that women can do to do better. It's like not like like men like as what? well. Like what? Like what? Again, but like last what? I'm week. I'm asking you, like what? Like what? Like when it comes to when it, in business, like what? Again, like when, when, when we're working, yeah, you might be pregnant. Yeah, you might have cramps. You might have an abusive man. But when you come on to set, this is about the set. Okay. Leave that shit at home. Jay, have you ever been pregnant? Bad. Have you ever had an abusive husband? No. So you don't know Again, what it we're takes making to come. Though. It's not an excuse. It it's the is. facts. It's the reality. It's, so, it's, it's, it's like a reality. We have hormones, nigga. So again, when we're pregnant, again, shit's going to be different. But again, but you what? should understand but that as what? a human. But guess you know what? what? No, but guess what? I have problems when I'm coming to work as well. My problems... Can't dictate what I got going. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. Exactly. That doesn't mean that that doesn't happen. Exactly. For you, but no, for you and, that and, may not happen for you. But, but that doesn't mean that doesn't what, happen. The, to go back to my point, I'm willing to acknowledge that. For example, Joe can have a he can break our cameraman, right? He's in the military. He he has a, he has a, he's a, a child. He, his, his, something can go go on with his baby mother. Something can go on with his girlfriend, and he can be having a fucked up day. But guess what? If he go to work and take his day out on on the field, he's going to get arrested. He's going to get put out the but military. Happens, but I'm not saying how many times has a man come to work, hold up, and talk it shit happens. or try it to happens. be sexual so, or something because he's not, feeling not, different because he's feeling that way so, in his personal so, life. Listen, y'all so ready to defend that you're not listening. To what no, I'm, saying. I'm, I'm not, hearing I'm you, but you're undermining what men do as well. Y'all do it too. All right. So when I say so, guess what? Guess what? Last week, right? We can re replay it. When I said. You know what? Women aren't being, being treated fair. Okay, when I said men need to do a better job of treating that woman fair, guess okay. what? Women did it too, but it wasn't about that in that moment. I'm talking about the man in that moment. And now I'm talking about the woman. So we got to acknowledge the fact that I'm talking about is women out there who don't, like they, they try to lean on a crutch of emotions, of hormones. And I'm talking about, yo. Stop. It's not a crutch. It's, ooh, it's fair. Nature, but, I also, but last week. I also think so, women do. There's women who show up just the same. I work I'm my not whole night. No, no, yeah, you're right. And I no, wait, wait, wait. But I never, no, wait, 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 wait. There's a race. No, and you're I right. never missed the day. And you're I never right. did anything. But I never and you're so right. like I don't so this is why I said I, I And there's some men out there who never cheated okay. that never right. and guess exactly. what? But I was talking about in a consensus it, last only, week I said men need to do a better job. But y'all ain't giving me this energy about, last week. Talking, though. No, because we're talking about business. We're talking though. about this clip, right? And that's why I said I don't think it's a man versus woman thing. I keep saying because if we're gonna talk about men versus running men versus women, I think we do have to be fair and just as it happens on both the court. Yes, but that's why I'm not pointing fingers. I'm saying I'm not pointing fingers. This thing, last last week, guess what? Women cheat on men too. Hold up, long. women, like, women I don't even recall women like cheat on long. men too, right? But when I was saying men need to do a better job, I didn't get this energy. But it wasn't a topic. It was that a wasn't statement, the topic. and it's a difference. If we were talking the about the topic, and we could have went into it, it was a statement. We're, and we talking, about we're Will talking about a topic and now. Janet okay. Hubert. So and saying, you're so. saying that Janet Hubert should have taken accountability for being difficult. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. So but you're generalizing it yes, and, and you're saying that problem. all women that's don't do that. No, and that's all not women. all women. No, that's Janet no, Hubert. I never said all women. Because I said, Charlie no. Sheen was difficult to I work never with. Said, I never said uh, all women. Right? I, said, huh? I never said all women. I said in my experience, I never said all women. I said in my experience, women don't take accountability. And again, this is not something that's brand new. This ain't the first time I had this argument. It's not. I said this last week. I said this before that. I said it before that. So hold up. Hold up. Right, I never relax. said all women. I never that. said all women. Never. Ever said that. I would never say that because I'm smarter than that. It's not all women. It's like all men don't cheat. Again, in this situation, I'm saying I'm tired of seeing men having to come back 
to apologize for some shit that was true and even though even I just don't so think then give topic. me some more I don't examples think that's the topic. of it give me I some think the topic of is will and janet if that was the topic that I think is it's the different. topic that's all i can uh, that was okay. my point okay, okay but jay but we're talking about this so i don't understand this is the an correlation. isolated situation i don't understand because this is an isolate i don't understand the correlation because we're going into that but we're talking about this as the trending that doesn't make sense to okay me. i'll just that's say why this i keep i keep I think Leaving in this it. situation, I think that it has nothing to do with men and women. I think that there's truth exactly. on both ends. I think that okay. Will's whole work held more power. And I think it was a kiss of death to, her, to, death to her, her career. And I think that she also and was being difficult so, on set. So I don't think that it was a kiss of death to her career because she had See, work after what, that. And, and it, she had, so the kiss of death to your career, you're not having work. Uh, just like you can no, say, hold up. Hold, hold up. up. Because just Monique like, had work after what just, happened, but it wasn't the same just like, caliber of but work. guess what? Guess what? Just like you said, you literally just sit here and said, Jeezy don't own half Atlanta. He doesn't. So we're being literal. Of course, he wasn't saying he owned half Atlanta, but that was just a statement. So if you can say that, right. why can't I say that this wasn't the kiss of death to our career because it wasn't the end because of the career? No, because you are absolutely correct in that analogy. He doesn't own half of Atlanta. He's exaggerating. But what she's saying is, no, I may not have had no work at all, but nigga, I didn't have, it was my, for my career. Right, not cool. that I didn't work after, but I didn't have the career Respect. that I was going to have Respect. because and, and you said I'm, saying, I'm difficult and, to work what, with. You I'm, blackballed and, me. And what I'm saying is, I feel like in that moment, fuck women and men. Janet Hubert, her individually, should have been acknowledging and say, no, nobody is the kiss of death to my career. I was the kiss of death to my career because of the because of what I was doing. Because if I wasn't doing that, somebody wouldn't be able to say that I was difficult to work with. Period. And I feel like she didn't acknowledge that. What she did acknowledge was somebody basically saying that you blackballed me when I did it. I gave you my experience. You were difficult to work with and you're going to be like, you know what? I was. And I just but I'm feel like that's say, her truth. I feel like that's fair. her truth. So what I was going like to say is it's so subjective. Forget, I feel it's again. subjective again because that's course, her truth. Of course it is. So what I was going to say is two different people in this world. I talked about Nicki Minaj and Beyonce. I talked about uh, Monique, Monique yeah. and Janet Hubert and then you got Oprah. So again, Oprah was in a situation where her co-host was making more money than her. And a lot of people would have made that a big deal, but she didn't. And I feel like that's why she's who she is. Keep Hold on, time I'm out. Gonna play yes, it. she did. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. This is her, her, her words. I, I'm just saying, I watched the interview. This is what she said. Turn it on. I go on to my boss. What she's talking about. And she's said, a billionaire. Go uh, ahead. That the guy who was working with me, co, co, uh, my co-host on the People Are Talking show, was making more money than I. And we were, we were co-hosts. So I went to my boss and I said, this is in 1970, I was older I than 23. It was 1979, 80. And I said, I, I just would like to, you know how intimidating it is to go to the boss in the first place, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna stand up for myself. <laughs> and I said, Richard's making more money than I am. And I, I, and I don't think that's fair because we're doing the same job. We sit in the same show, we did same. And my general manager said, why, why should you make as much money as he? And I said, because we're doing the same job. And he said, um, but he has children. Do you have children? And I said, no. He said, well, he has to pay for college education. He, has, he owns his own home. Do you own your home? I said, no. He said, he has a, a mortgage to pay. He has insurance. He has a, do you have that? No. So t tell me, why, you, why do you need the same amount of money? And I said, Thank you for your time. And I left. I left. I didn't complain about it. I didn't file a, a, a suit about it. I knew that in that moment, it was time for me to go. And that I started the process for myself of preparing myself for, you will not be here long. You are not going to be able to get what you need. I had a boss at the time uh, who w was African American and had just been, uh, for the first time made an assistant news director and was drunk with power, drunk with power, and felt it his, I think, I don't know, I think he woke up in the morning thinking of things he could do to harass me. I decided not to file a suit against it because I knew at the time I would lose, right. that no good would come of it, that I would be blackballed in television, that it would turn into a major thing, and I knew I didn't have long to stay there. I had a vision for what the future was, even though I couldn't place exactly where my future would be. I knew uh, who held the future, because I am really guided by a force that's bigger than myself. I know that my being here on the planet is not just of my own. Maybe. So you use that as momentum. 
So my point is, again, Janet Hubert did sue. She did. And I'm not saying that, again, I'm not here to say she was wrong or not. I'm saying there's two different type of people in this world. You have those who want to fight, just like Monique. Monique felt like she was wrong. And Colin and she, Kaepernick. Okay, but even Colin, even, even no, Colin, same no, shit. even, no, even I didn't agree with Colin Kaepernick in the end. I didn't. When he went back to do his tryout, I didn't. I thought a lot of things he was doing was unnecessary. No, 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 no. We're not talking about him going back to do the tryout. We're talking about him filing his suit. So guess what? Even, so you even, didn't agree with that? No, even, even in that, right? Because Colin Kaepernick was fighting for something, I respected. Oh, God. How, no, wait. Hold up. Me personally, I feel like he did a great thing. And he had, he, we, we needed a figure like that. However, do I think that if he if he would have stayed in the NFL, he would have had more money to to put up for um I don't know social injustice. Disagree. And I mean that might that's fair. What no, I'm, it's he's making more money off his contracts. Cool. With and, his and again, he now. might be the one off. All I'm saying, I'm not. All I'm saying is we needed that figure. I'm not about to say. All and I'm we say, also need black women figures as well to so fight guess, for equal rights. Because somebody's got to do it. Because if nobody does it, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. You gotta stop it right there. Was that Janet Huber's fight? Because Colin Kaepernick's fight was clear in the beginning. It was clear. This I'm is for social Let injustice. Let me play was this. Janet Huber's, and I don't know. I'm asking the question because I don't okay. know. You was know, that her fight? I've was her fight for black women? So... Because we don't know that. It okay. was very clear and apparent so, from the beginning when he so, took the knee why I was doing this. She was There's doing racial... it because she took, she was, she said it. She, she was emotional. She took her job too serious. It wasn't about a bigger thing than woman. It wasn't about that. It was about a personal game. Okay, so hold on. I'm not going to say, say. I'm not, okay, so this is my argument for that. Same with Monique. Jay, no, stop. Because in Monique's, I can defend it. And I can say that, yes, Monique was doing well, that Mon you know, I'm for talking black about women. That's why I said. So, Janet Hugh, uh, I, honestly, I can't say. Well, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to. No, you just said Monique as I'm well. I'm saying like, so, but this, it's two different people. No, and, and, and I disagree. And, 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 okay, and if we're going to, if you're going to say there's two different people, then we also need to acknowledge the fact that, okay, there's two different people on another spectrum as well. Yep. There's people who's going to speak out when they're wrongdoing. Yep. And there's people who's going to take it like Oprah and say, you know what? Fine. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And you cannot knock either, either way. Either way is wrong because, because there will be why. no change that, I'm had there not been for the other it's, one. It's, not, it's also that some people are okay. Oprah came before. So, 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 some people are okay with simply sticking up for themselves. And even if they have to learn in their times that there's sometimes a hold and sometimes a fold, without their lesson, they would have no idea. So to call her wrong for sticking up for herself because she was pregnant, she was going through her things, you said she said it. To me, that's acknowledgement. I was emotional. I did have things going on. You know what I mean? Either way, whether it was personal or not, she acknowledged that. And at the end of the day, it's still her truth that she did get very much blackballed in that process. Is that okay for sticking up for yourself or feeling like you had things going on and you and you were under pressure? Should you get blackballed? No. And no, was, nobody was... has nobody should be going through real life and get blackballed. This time, like, for example, if I what? lose my just for example, God forbid. I lose somebody dear close to me, right? That I'm mourning and I cannot shake it because for dear God, I'm just not strong enough yet. And I lose everything. Is that right? And, uh, but no. Guess, no. But guess what? And, as a business what? owner, right? And that's fine. As a, as hold, a business... on. hold on. Hold on. As, as a human, as a human, I'm going to say, if a business let me go, my boss, and I worked very hard, I'd be disappointed and crushed. However, am I taking away that's what they needed to do? No. But do I get to still speak my truth? Absolutely, and that's what I mean. And all I'm saying is, as a business that's owner, fair. I feel like you're putting that. As a business owner, yeah, I can understand that you got a lot going on, but at the end of the day, that ain't got shit to do with me. At the end of the day, I can understand it and I can be um, empathetic to it. But as a business, don't bring that. Just like in sports and anything, they tell me when I was a young and I was taught this. When I and, and and that's the thing I feel like. More women need to like not even women. Yeah, but I just feel like, women, but no, I because I feel like be I see mindful. it. You do. No, I, I I am saying it because I feel like I see it more in women. Because I feel like like more women need to because I don't like need to join sports. They need to like have something like because when you when you are in these, no no listen I'm not saying what are you, you saying they about? don't oh my god like listen to what I'm saying like I feel like the women that don't play sports or in uh, uh, organizations they don't really understand this because when I was when I was young when I was young she has played basketball her whole life I never said she didn't I literally I'm said the okay, women no, that don't play sports so Jay so, so, so the men that don't play it. sports is it the same for them them too yes okay please, thank god, you damn. stop generalizing <laughs> so like, women right but I'm saying stop I saying women no I can generalize because it's my experience okay but you say experience men too why are you only singling out the women because I don't experience it as much with men I don't I'm telling you my experience okay period right. so you again as much so, mine so when it's been many again my experience my okay. jay okay. hill okay jay hill my experience 
the woman that that's not in organizations that's that hasn't played sports that has not, that didn't had it that that, that didn't have to work for anything when it comes to it they don't understand wow. it. Wow, what are you talking, talking about? Yeah, I'm ready to end the podcast because y'all not listening. Listen, like y'all so emotional. Women that didn't have to work for anything. This right here, you're the most this, emotional no, out of this, this conversation. But yes, so, I am because okay. this right here is my point. You okay. can't even listen. I'm listening. Okay. Once you finish. disagree, finish okay. out. Finish out. I tried to do it three times. Okay, uh, so finish Again. out. You're being Again. difficult to work with. Finish out. And I'm cool with that. And I can acknowledge that. And also, at least y'all are annoying. Y'all are trolls. And if anybody has any critical issues that happen, just know you won't work here anymore. Y'all are trolls. Right. Again. So again. Listen, I feel like with women, a lot of times, the woman that don't play sports, the woman that's not any organizations, the woman that that, that hasn't sorry, that that didn't have to that didn't have to like I don't want to say work for anything, but didn't have to have a um dedicated to anything because I learned this in sports when I was young. My my teacher, my coaches told me, you go to school, anything can happen in school. Once you go to the locker room, you get dressed, and before you go to the field, you do this. That means you wiping out everything before that. So in this situation, even if it's work, I get it. I can be empathetic that you have an abusive husband. I can be empathetic that you're pregnant. I can be empathetic of all that. But guess what? I still need my shit done the way I need my shit done. Just like on a football field. When I go on a field, I could have lost my moms. The worst thing in the world could have happened is either I stay, I stay home or I come to get the fucking job done. So when it comes to all that bullshit to me, Put that shit to the side. Yeah, you are hurt. Hold up. I'm not done. All right. Yeah, you are hurt. Because I was going to be yeah, quiet. So yeah, relax. Yeah, 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 you are hurt. I get it. Yeah, you are hurt. But that don't have nothing to do with my work business. So if you come to work and you fucking up the, like, Aurora, if that's a word, if you fucking up the workplace, you are difficult to work with. And as a person, like you said, you should acknowledge that and say, not say, you calling me difficult was blackballing me. No. I allowed with my situation to get my emotions involved and I fucked it up for myself. Not because you caught me uh, difficult. No, that's all can I'm I say, saying. Can I say one thing? So boom, you put it to football, right? You play football. Yes. God forbid you did lose your mom, right? And you're going through a hard time and you can't play this sport. Do you think it's okay for your coach to tell somebody he's difficult to work with or he was in a bad time at that time, but I do think when he's better, he could play later. I will hope that- Which one? So I'm going to ask you a question. Which one? I will hope that he understands, but if he don't, I get it because it's a business. Okay, so- It's a business and I was taught as, that. as somebody okay. who was an athlete and was taught the same thing, what is your point here? Because my, I was taught the same thing and I'm so, a woman. So my point is, again, like I said, through my experience, uh huh, my experience, most women, don't understand this and when it comes to when it comes to like things like this they want it to be more understood than factual and i can again i can i've said this a million times i can be empathetic i can understand but that don't have shit to do with the business of it all i'm saying business and i want her it, to be i want her to be saying, accountable okay, this is what okay I feel like she can be accountable but, but all i'm saying is stop generalizing it as if it's a man a man versus woman i'm general and, and, and again i'm generalizing it me Nobody so, else. Just yeah. you. Just I'm your personal because experience. Because of my experience. Right, right. So my experience, I would have to say the opposite. Okay, and I'm, more and men, I'm not arguing more that. More men though. come to work I acting never, like an asshole and shit's not I going to that house. So, that, though. That's, my, they're arguing my point. I never okay, argued and, that. But my only, point is, my only point is, whether she takes accountability, whether that is the situation, do I think she should have been blackballed? Absolutely not. No. And I think that's where my problem is. Because at the end of the day, if that was a situation and they had to let her go from that set, that's fine. But when she was out of her situation, she should have been able to go to another and set. And that's not on Will, though. That's not on Will Smith, but though. But when somebody is in power, just like, just like Oprah said, There's right? a bigger responsibility. She was, she was dealing with a power drunk boss. So she knew, she knew fair of the woman, unfortunately, because we will deal with a lot of dickheads in corporate, the fact that Men if I, too. excuse me, if I go to him or I go against this, then I could be blackballed. The fact that she knew that tells me a problem, right? Fair. Fucking there. And I'm not going to so, argue that. All, this, all that to say is Will, being who Will is, she addressed it to him. And guess what happened to her? Exactly what Oprah. But he wasn't the only to. one that no. said she was being difficult. One, I first of all, Will Smith. But I wait, don't know who else. Well, okay, but wait, at this moment, I let's, and, I, and I, can, I can play it. In this That's moment, fine. she had experience with acting. Will, this is his first time acting. First time. She had experience. She said all of this in an interview. I can play the podcast. She literally said, you know what? Like, she felt entitled to more. And, and, and if anything, she was like, yo, it was times where the director said, this should happen. And she's like, no, because this wouldn't happen in work, real life. That's not your job. So, okay, okay so, like Jay, so Jay, it, so Jay, so with, Jay. No, with, okay, hold on. You watched The Shy, right? Yeah. Okay, so Jason Mitchell, right? Yeah. Do you agree with 
What happened to that's him? That's the guy that um that got raped. fired because they said he was being difficult to work with. No, that's different. No, wait, what happened? Now, whoa, no, 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 wait a minute. I, what happened? What happened? Explain what happened. He wasn't difficult to work with. What happened? Oh, he was, stop. It no, wasn't difficult. You, that's me. different. What happened? Then, Jazz, what happened? Oh, no, it was difficult to work with. What they happened? said that what he happened? was being inappropriate on set because he was using vulgar language. Um, he was sexually harassing. No, they his said no, they stop. Said because they it never allegedly. came out. No, it was not alleged. He said there was no sexual harassment. He said He's, no. Right. So I'm gonna ask no, you she didn't say Boone, She the said that she was she didn't uncomfortable. Say she was uncomfortable. She was uncomfortable. Why do people assume uncomfortable means sexual harassment? So, so he she said, said that this so so she never says sexual, and that's what he said. He said, Stop saying sexual. She said that she was uncomfortable because of the language that I was using. Fair. It was inappropriate. It was never mm. sexual. Forget it was like, what Alex just said. You asked me. Like right, right. You asked me, right? Yes. If people on the set were uncomfortable, yes, he was difficult to work with. Period. So do you think that Jason Mitchell should not get any work now? He, it's not that he shouldn't get any work now, but if that's what comes with it, that's not on the shy cast. That's on him. Just like if I, for example, matter of fact, swear to God in my life, the same guy that I called for the, um, for the situation that we talked about, about the live podcast, right? He said, yo, you don't want management because you say this, this, and that. And I'm like, even though I don't agree and that might hurt my feelings, I can't ignore what, that, what I gave, what I did for him to feel that way. So self acknowledge, like a- accountability, I'm saying, yo, Damn. That well, hold up, hold up. said no. she said she was difficult to work with at that time. And again, my point, no, she didn't say that. She said she was, I feel like she was, she did agree with like, yo, I was going through some things, but I'm saying in the, I'm talking about in the reunion, the reunion is like, yo, again, I didn't watch the whole thing, but what I saw, I'm only talking about what I saw. And I'm like, yo, it's like you saying I'm difficult is the kiss of death to my career. And I don't agree with that. I'm just saying for me, I would never say that. I would say, yo, me, I allowed my, my, situ- my, my current situations to affect my work at that time. That's all I'm so, saying. Look, okay. And I don't and, feel and, like... And that's fine. I'm not saying that you're wrong. But all I'm saying is, can we also acknowledge another side? What's because other I side? also feel like at the end of the day, because Will was who he was, first show or not, can we do a matter when somebody is very important to something and they spread a word about something, do he, does he not need to be mindful <laughs> of how he saw that situation? Because he could... So, for example, we on a set... You may feel a way about me and Jazz. If you go telling other podcasters that me and Jazz are difficult to work with. That's my experience. That's your experience. But do you not think there's a nicer way to th- say these things and go about it so that you're not blackballing or basically blocking, so, blocking so, the so, opportunity? So are, you comfortable? Is, not, are you comfortable with blocking? Opp- Hold on. I'm not done. You relax. Like you told me, right? So my point is just like the same way. No different. Are you comfortable with taking opportunities from people because you are in a powerful position. You know what, and people do look to you for your advice on podcasting and people do things. So do you not think that what you say is law sometimes to some people? So if you say something, could that be a situation? Yes. And are you uncomfortable with that? Wait, can the two coexist? Yes. So I can agree that have to much is get to, to much home is given much is required. I understand that from will. I'm talking about the what she said. And I can acknowledge that, yeah, if you have a big platform, he might not have understood his platform. He might, and yeah, he was wrong for that. However, I feel like she was, I, you can, again, this is nothing new. I'm saying the okay, same thing. So thing. I think so there's no, also two types of people. So, much so hold up. So and wait, 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 also, and hold I just wait, don't understand But there's it. also two it's types of people. It's not empathy. You can be like, but at that time, he might have, he was new. At that time, oh, he may have not, but you're not giving her the same credit. No, You're not giving her the same credit. Look, I'm telling my experiences again. My situation with DTLR, right? I got in a fight at the club, wasn't even at work. The guy went back and told my boss, I think that's fucked up. However, at the end of the day, anytime I speak on a situation, I say, yo, I shouldn't have put myself in that situation. So this is what I think again. But does that mean you shouldn't work at night two point nine or Shoe City? No, so, he but no. so now she, no, so if he went, so no, but when you be hurt, I would be hurt. But again, I'm not about to put it out in the. I'm not going to say, yo, I didn't get a job at nine three point nine because of what they said. I'm gonna say, yo, I made some mistakes and that followed me. That's but what I'm gonna say. Me personally, that's all I'm saying. I'm not. I'm okay. not saying. I'm saying me personally. I'm gonna take accountability because you know what? When I was in a club. I fought somebody. My boss so happened to be somebody that was powerful. So when he said something to somebody else, I had to take the L. Just like it was quick. When I, when I got into it with Quick, Quick got up. And I, I say names. He has a huge impact. So if he would have told somebody something and I lost the opportunity, that was because of my actions. Not because of him. That was my, because if I wouldn't have never did it, I wouldn't have been in a position for him to say something. Period. Okay, but I also have to say this. There's also these two types of people because I can go and I can say my experience on Quick and other people have said it too. And he ended up losing his job <coughs> behind that shit. Remember when everything came out? So 
Quick is back on the radio, right? Yeah. Right. So I'm pretty sure that female, where is she at? Did she get a job back? No, because that's the double standard right there. So you can't. And I can't. Point. And again, I'm not about to. I'm never going to not acknowledge the double standard. All I'm saying is, again, back to what I was saying. I don't feel that it's fair that we have to come back and apologize for things that's real. Like, if I think that's real, why can't we agree that, yo, you know what? I was being difficult. And then I can be like, you know what? Guess what? You were being difficult. I might ain't have to say that. And he said that. He was like, yo, I was 21. I ain't have a family. Now I understand. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm talking to my experience. I feel like in my experience, in my relationship, and I've worked with other women. Again, I'm saying in my experience, when I try to do things with women, I have to kind of, I have to kind of dump, not, not dumb down, but like I, I have to Be modernize, yeah, my speech and my business. And I don't think that's cool because business is business at the so end of the day. day. That, I'm, I'm nah, saying, like, nah, but that's like, not. No, I, I, I'm mm. saying if it's such a problem and, and it's so generalized as women, but why, then why do why why if then it's no different in the relationship, right? If you go get what you it. like, so guess get what? what you like, but deal with what you fair. like. If you, if you, if, 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 so for example, me and Jazz, you can't work with all men. You're right. Work with all men. You're right. It's, and I just, I just feel like the, what I'm, what the argument that I'm saying, I just feel like, again, me, I would never say work with all women. I'm like, again, like when, 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 my, when my mentor, when my, when my mentor said, when my, when my, when my, when my mentor said what I said, right. When, when, and when he said what I said, I'm like, you know what? Damn, I got to do something different. So I don't show you that. So when I'm saying this, right, honestly, and I guess that's the expectation and uh, um, uh, since the entitlement as well, I'm being real. I would, I'm, I'm hoping I would get, damn, let me look at myself and see why somebody would feel like that. Let me move in a way where they can see that I'm taking acknowledgement for myself. You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just saying that, again, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, yo, maybe that's a sense of entitlement for myself. And look, I, made I, agree, I, gotta work with. I agree with what you're saying. I just think that that's just people in general. But I agree. I know fair, plenty of people. Fair, that's fair. I've been in situations where. Because it's not all women. I've been in situations where I got women. my job It's not all women. I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll give you an example. I was in a situation where I remember with my first job, I called out on my birthday. They had a 90-day probation rule. My birthday came before that 90 days and I called out, but I had also done tons of overtime for them that I didn't want to do, but I did it anyway. So when I got fired initially, I was pissed yeah, because I like felt I like it this. wasn't fair. Yeah. But in hindsight, I'm like, well, I it broke the rules. Days. Right. So it is what it is. And that's, that's on, that's, the, hey, look, that's how they run their shit. So yes, I took accountability for that. However, wait, question. I still feel like they fuck been, y'all. Yeah, yeah no, but y'all wait, question. Being assholes. It. Question. It's, it's bo it goes both Hell ways. Yeah, it but does. it does. My Hopefully. question, just but at in, the time, in comparison, I didn't see it that way. Like, yeah, of I was like, I, nah. I understand. I'm a, right. But, but what did what did you do after the fact? After what? After that fired. situation. So you, is was that because, not the trigger to boss? Because like, you, this, you, no, because this job had a union. And, and, but this is just how I am. I, but it doesn't have to do with me being a female or a male because I can say, like, my father's the exact opposite. He's going to try to fight that shit to the end. Me, personally, I like to move forward. So if I spend so much time fighting for this bullshit job, I'm going to miss out on a bigger opportunity of me moving forward. I mm -hmm. have to let it go. Mm -hmm. But I can't say that that is just a woman or man thing because I know plenty of men who are like, fuck that, I'm no, going to the fact. union, I'm suing these motherfuckers and I'm going to keep suing them. That's just the type of person I am. Like once something, like even with the recent situation of the woman and the whole me going to jail, my father was like, go press charges on her because she needs to see what it feels like for what you went through. But me as a person, I'm like, man, fuck it. If I'm out the situation, I'm out it. I know the truth that happened Thanks. so I can live with that because I learned from my past experiences that if I do drag it out, it's taking away so time from what I'm doing going forward. That's why initially I said through my experience is mostly with women. But at the end, I did say it's two different type of people. I didn't, I, I said it's two different type of people. And right. I have, you have those, you have those Oprah who will acknowledge right. that and be like, you know what? I'm and not about to fight forward. and move forward. Do you have people like, and I said, Monique, but, but, because, I, oh, but, the, but to add to that, what, and this is the last thing that I'm going to say about it. I also think that, there are other, there's an, also two types of people. There's people who go into a restaurant and the waiter might have a bad That's attitude a fact, yeah. and they go complain to the boss and they get this person fired completely. Mm -hmm. The type of person I am, even though it's going to piss me off, man, I already know what it's like to be in that position. So I know they're having a fucked up day, right? And I know that they, this job, nobody wants to work that job unless you have to work that mm -hmm. job. So am I going to go and get them fired 
No, I'm not. But could I? And I, do I see people do it all the Hell time? Yeah. Yes. Do I agree with it? No. So there, there, there's two types of people like that as well. And I think that we saw a case of Will being that person that I just named. And we also saw a, a case of Janet Huber being that person of, I'm going to just sue. I can't let it go. So I think that now that they came to this moment, I think it shows that, yes, there are different types of people, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's who you are in forever the because entirety, they, yeah. right. Because when you're in the heat of the moment, emotions are flying on men, on a man's from a man and, and a, woman, a woman, because yeah. if Will wasn't feeling away, he would have just let it go. Like you said, he wouldn't have said anything about it. So yes, I think that when you're in the heat of the moment and you're frustrated in business, yeah, you could fuck up somebody's entire career and somebody can fuck their entire career up by making one small decision. But do I think that it's something that is not forgivable or that, should be normalized? No, I don't. Because like she said, we are humans and we do need to understand that in business as well. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. And the end, it ain't a woman versus men thing. It is not. That's what I said I from agree. the very beginning. It's agree. not. Again, but it's like you keep trying to debunk. Me saying it's my experience. You. That's my I'm experience. Kidding, but all I'm saying is a lot of it what took a lot of the conversation was a men versus woman. And I'm ending the conversation. Nothing to do with you. Just to speak to my truths. That it's not a man versus woman. We can, we can all agree on that, right? That's all We've all come to an agreement. All right, cool. Episode 47. Seven. Wait, what's yeah. the name of it? We'll, we always got to have a name. I don't know. Shit. We uh, talked about a lot of shit. <laughs> a lot of shit. <laughs> Talk we had some shit like full of shit. Nah, a know, lot like, of shit. Yeah. I don't know. Like the shit, shit show. It was the shit it show. Was, versus. I think we had that right. Versus. <laughs> Men versus women. Men versus Gucci women. versus G. Versus. Yeah. Versus. Versus. All right. With two Z's. Sign us out, Jay. <laughs> Gemini Scovio Podcast, episode yeah. 47. Lemon. Gucci won. <laughs>